Hey Rem PCs and welcome to Rules of Cool, where we interview very special guests, creators, gamers, designers, and world builders. I'm your Striz, and today we'll be chatting with lead game designer at Alligator Alley Entertainment, as well as the owner of Sky Dawn Game Studios, Rich Lescaflair. We have a fantastic giveaway of three Esper Genesis RPG Core Rulebook PDFs. Type Rem PC in the chat for a free entry to win. The drawing will be done at the end of tonight's episode of Emerald Glitch throw ooh, not throw the plan away the name of the episode is through the ringer coming up right after rules of cool you can also get bonus entries by donating bits or subscribing every 100 bits gets you a bonus entry and subscribing gets you seven whole bonus entries and in remo turnus news get ready for rift zone contact a revolutionary war game for everyone Boosted Reality is melding reality with the, with AR with their Rift Zone Contact mobile application. Playable anywhere with nothing but minis and mobile devices, the seamless combo simplifies miniature war games, eliminating rules and calculations, and making them more accessible to everyone. Link down in the chat after this, I am the mod. Bear the cold in Frostpunk, the role-playing game. This is a gripping society building game that you can enjoy around a physical or virtual tabletop. The intense decision making, survival challenges, and difficult questions that are at the heart of the acclaimed video game can also be found here. Check out the link in chat right after this. In other news, Voltron the role playing game. Catalyst brings an all new rule system that emphasizes the teamwork at the heart of Voltron and also allows for awesome displays of power from the universe's greatest defender. Coming soon to Kickstarter, October 8th. And lastly, in Wrath of the Sea Lich, adventurers must recover the Eye of Chintufi, a powerful artifact coveted by both local treasure hunters and the ancient Yudrisid Lich, Ereshkigal. Dormant for millennia in her watery fortress, Ereshkigal now stirs and her return could spell disaster for the world. Coming to Kickstarter, September 24th. And that link will be down in chat here in just a moment. But now, to get right into our conversation for this week, stay tuned, Red PCs. All right, welcome back, everybody, and welcome back to you, Rich. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm, I'm doing fantastic. Getting close awesome. to the end of my day. Uh, but let's see. Now, listen, I could go ahead and ask you a whole bunch of prying questions. I'm going to let the script do that for me. Okay. Rich, as we always like to start the show with, what is your history as a gamer? Uh, I have been playing tabletop games uh, from my early teens. I had gotten into, uh, this is a, a, a story I, I share every now and again. Uh, I had a, let's just say an unpronounced physical altercation in, uh, in junior high with, uh, you know, with a, a, a person who actually became a very a really good friend of mine kind of during during suspension we were sitting down and i was looking over his shoulder and he was reading the uh the D, &D uh basic the, the basic box and i saw the art and i was like i love this and asked him what it was and it was history from there i played you know i've been playing D, &D from uh for years and then got into other RPGs, you know, uh, Shadowrun, Savage Worlds, World of Darkness, and I, I just loved RPGs so much that I started playing. I started buying way too many of them. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person that has a a a, a collection of role playing games on their shelf that they've never played before. But you know, I've 
well, browsed, I guess. I, I, can, I can say browsed. I think pretty and, much anyone who's been to a convention can say that they also probably have that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's been it. And I, I've always been a uh, very big storyteller. I, I, I loved I loved writing stories since I was a kid, and I loved reading books. And the entire the entire uh, concept of RPGs is right up my alley. No, absolutely. I do love the fact that it all started with a fight. I, I do truly believe that some of the best friendships, and I guess, uh, I guess, nerddoms? I guess? I, <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, can't find a better I, word. I guess. I guess. I, 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 I can't. I, I'm, still, I'm still kind of, what's, uh, what's really funny, but that's a longer story, is neither of us actually started that fight. But... <laughs> Wait, so who started the fight? Okay, okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask any questions. I, I, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, as, as any gamer in this space, uh, I pro probably has one. What is your favorite experience at a convention? Uh... I have so many. <laughs> uh, I, I I love I love hanging with friends at conventions. Uh, I guess the most recent, I have a very recent awesome experience at a convention. Uh, somewhere I, I think uh, I was in Orlando running an Esper Genesis game, and I uh, ran into a couple that played at my table, uh, a very very nice elderly couple, and they they love the game. And then I ran into them later on at Gary Con, and then at Gen Con, uh, we were running Esper Genesis uh, in the uh, in the JW, and I sat down, and you know, uh, one of them came in again, and and uh, and was like, "Wow, that's great!" Uh, and and they told me that uh, their their entire weekend was. All you know, Esper Genesis game. They they had loved they had loved it so much, and they wanted to, and they wanted to play. It's like we just bought all the Esper Genesis tickets, and so you know because I, because we we just had a blast. I was able to you know to, to to run through scenarios again, and and the familiarity with not my friends, just people that I you know met at a table, and they're, mm -hmm. and they're coming back. It was it was really fun. No, that's fair. I, I, yeah, because I mean. Anyone, anyone close to you could just be, you know, coming back to make you feel better. But if it's complete strangers like that, that's how you know that it's a real enjoyable experience. Oh. It was nice to, it was nice to give that to, you know, to know that I did. It was like, wow, okay, that's, that's awesome. No, that's fair. Well, does that influence your decision on what is your favorite convention? And you don't have to say... Gen Con, however, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I won't be able to cut you the check after this, is all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> no one pays me anyway. No, no, that's, 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 not, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> uh, I do love Gen Con. Uh, I, I guess uh, probably my, my favorite conventions, to be perfectly honest, because of the... Uh, because of the the, the the cozy atmosphere and and the you know the events and you know uh, Gen Con as 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 huge as it is and enjoyable as it is it can get a little crazy. I I, uh, I enjoy myself at uh, probably Winter Fantasy and at Game Hole Con. Uh, uh, I, I I actually recently went to uh, to Quest Con uh, for the first time and that was and that was awesome. So I think I guess those those are those are running a tie right now. <laughs> so. I, okay, I, 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 I get stuck in a box of, of, uh, of edge actions and tiny mechs. Uh, I don't oh. think I've heard of QuestCon. Uh, it is in Orlando. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's actually very, it's, it's very cool. It's, uh, there, there's, there's rolling and there's wargaming and it's, uh, it's, it's divided into two. There's a gigantic, you know, Gaming hall. If you, if you love the if you love the miniatures, oh. it's, it's, you walk in and it's just kind of this the sea. Of, I'm not really a war gamer, <laughs> so <laughs> so I got I got to walk in. I got to look at everything, and I'm like, wow, look at all the cool stuff that's more expensive than my house. And I'm gonna turn around now and uh, and, and you want an army that and, costs an army? And, and, yep, yeah, exactly. And and do some role playing games and and buy some stuff at the hall. <laughs> 
no no, no I, absolutely no, listen okay. i i i am kind of right there with you i i started off acting and got into game gaming because of wanting to you know pretend to be somebody else and role-playing games are perfect for that and now we got three of them lined up that i get to do content for so can't complain no no not not at all <laughs> so i'm i'm right there with with you i don't know the first thing about war gaming <laughs> I, I I used to I, I'm not gonna lie I used to play I used to play BattleTech for a little while, uh, but that that was that was probably the extent of it. Uh, you know we there there were there were too many there were too many books and I had too many RPG books <laughs> and I had to choose because then you know it was, it was time is so much limited and time time is so limited. There's only one of me so. No, that's fair. That's fair. I see. I've gotten uh, one of the. Uh, I've gotten one of the uh, uh, the writers. Well, a couple of the writers now. Uh, if if you just sit down with them and pretend like you don't know anything, they will just keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, a uh, little bit more about yourself, and maybe a little bit more deep of a dig. Uh, okay. What did you do? Even if it was just asking for uppies before entering the gaming space uh the gaming uh, so as far as career wise uh career wise yeah. it just or just in general before you dove headfirst into it i did real estate accounting and uh i was a wire technician for at&t that was uh both 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 of both of which both of which extends from from my identity as a math and computer nerd uh so <laughs> they were they were jobs that fit <laughs> Fair enough. well at the very least now you can apply that to uh cool space uh, sci-fi adventures and i i don't know exactly the overlap there but i'm sure it's there in some degree the the the, the account the accounting part i you know uh it, it it strangely works when you're running a small business and uh and 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 doing mechanics i don't you know it's 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 the it's the math thing right no, no. <laughs> that that helps out uh the climbing poles i actually don't really know about actually you may need it one day much. getting yeah, really I, deep into some maybe. rp oh wow yeah <laughs> that, that would be uh i can't say i was ever a larper but if i if i ever tried that then i, I think it'd be epic <laughs> You'll be What's ready. Doing up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get I, I I'm, I'm trying to get fall damage on him. I don't know. <sighs> well, uh, all of a sudden, Channel Seven news story: <laughs> <laughs> Man in cape jumps off telephone. It was a nat one. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we do have uh, quite quite a few games to talk about, but first, uh. I want to talk about the the institution itself. How did Sky Dawn Games come to be? Uh, so Sky Dawn Game Studios, honestly, we just just launched it in about four months ago. It's it's uh, new as a company, and it came to be. Uh, well, I, I have, I, I'm a, a managing partner and a, and lead designer with Alligator Entertainment that, that, that publishes, uh, you know, all, all the stuff that I've, that I've worked on myself so far, uh, in when, when we were kind of getting into our full swing of like big projects, uh, my, uh, my business partner and, and very good friend, uh, Ryan Dalrymple, he, he had, uh, he had unfortunately passed away, uh, and that hit us, you know, as, as, as friends, and you know, hit us as, as a, as a company, you know, he was, he was pretty much a third of our, of, of everything that we did. Uh, so, um, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm so I, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. That. Sorry. But yeah. I don't know. That's okay. Uh, so it's fine that there's no we, mood. So everything, yeah, everything, everything, <laughs> everything kind of, uh, we, we had, we had to, we had to reorganize everything and uh, a lot of our projects, uh, we're we're being we're being reworked, and uh, my my business partner Eric and I we, we were we were uh, running with things and trying to to carry to carry it along. And I got to the point where uh, I had said, okay, well, I wanted to get you know our, our resources together, 
and I wanted to reevaluate everything. And I also uh, had, you know, extra plans for where I wanted to bring things like Espergenesis into what we had originally envisioned and like, you know, something that, that, that Brian was super excited about. So uh, my wife and I, we, we had started Scout on Game Studios. We had uh, gotten together with uh, a few um, uh, non-industry partners that, that loved gaming and wanted, and wanted to get in. And that's how it got put together. And, it, and, and it's now a gaming production company. And the first thing that we're planning on doing is, you know, pushing out everything that, uh, that we're going to be doing as far as things like Espogenesis and the, and the upcoming projects that we have. And then we want to, we're looking to, to grow it right, right now, as far as, you know, my wife and I are permanent, our partners are, and I have uh, at least a dozen regular contractors that uh, push out excellent, excellent things for us. And they're, they're really excited about the projects that we're doing. And when they are, they, it, it's 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 easy it's easy and it's fun no absolutely fair um i i'm not gonna force you to name drop but as far as people that you work with uh uh with uh with uh it's both scott i tried mixing them in my head it became alligator uh dawn or something like that <laughs> in my head <laughs> it, 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 it stuck in my brain as far as uh, Skydon I... and Alligator Alley goes, uh, I'm not asking you to name drop, but can you name drop? Uh, Skydon Game Studios, I, I, I'm not going to on, on, on that one. Not All yet. Right. Uh, Alligator Alley Entertainment, uh, that, that, is, uh, that is myself. Uh, that is, um, that is uh, my friend Eric Weiner and, uh, and uh, Christopher Robin Neglon, who just just actually recently uh had his own uh project the mystery flesh pit national parker oh okay absolutely fair uh project of, i'm assuming on kickstarter mm -hmm. fantastic all right no that's awesome uh now i i pretty sure i read something about also being tied to other organizations is that something that you want to talk about or is that more of a these are so uh so the so the other yeah the other organizations are are my are my you know are my partners that, uh, okay okay that okay just, okay just but, make it sure. the plan the plan for the plan for scout on game studios is is to be rpg production where, where i am a <laughs> my years as a freelancer uh since it's been kind of a whirlwind and i've been all over the place i actually have been able to uh experience every single bit of rpg production from concept to printing and shipping like you know every, everything from start to finish so mm -hmm. uh in that respect then you know I'm, I'm able to with the knowledge reach out to uh other um other designers and other contractors to put together something to push out what we have right now and then the plan is to uh become just a a a an actual rpg production that can partner with anyone else that's you know looking to do something mm -hmm. uh, with us any projects looking to do something with us no absolutely fair well uh as far as sky dawn games goes uh so i i i want to say that i saw it listed somewhere about events uh so what what mm -hmm. kind of events can viewers be expecting to see from sky dawn uh, we have con events planned. Uh, our, our, our first big thing is going to be at Game Hall Con uh, later this year. That's that's when we're um, we are presenting our uh, Fantasy Star tabletop RPG, uh, our introductory adventure uh, that we want to do. We also are planning on getting into some live streams. I have been having discussions about that. One of the big things that we didn't do enough when we were uh, uh, developing Esper Genesis is uh, get more get more actual play and get more uh, get get more organized play done. You know, we we were we were a small team and we're focusing on on certain things. But like at, at this point, with uh, our, our our expedition project coming out and with Fantasy Star coming out, and people are very excited about what we're doing, we want to get more uh, we want to get more live streams done and we want to get more organized play events out. 
So uh, our first big event of the Game Cold Con, we're planning on doing a whole lot more uh, in the in the upcoming year while we're developing Fantasy Star. Uh, but uh, nothing nothing on the schedule yet. No, that's right. Well, uh, all I'm saying is that uh, that uh, Teslin, our our game runner, he doesn't he doesn't have to go every week. He does he does it every single week nonstop. Uh, but uh, I, if it's one shotable, then we we can probably one shot it. But we 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 can talk about that a little bit. Uh, a little bit sure. later on. <laughs> uh, also, just just being able to have like a little palate cleanser for everyone as well. Uh, but uh, s switching gears just a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. how did you first get involved with Alligator Alley Entertainment? Uh, well, I'm a, I'm a native New Yorker. I moved down to Florida about 10 years ago. And I was looking for, I was looking for gaming stores. I was looking for places to play. I, I used to, I used to play a regular, uh, AD and D game, uh, over, over when, when I lived in New York. And there just weren't, there were a lot of gaming stores, but there weren't a lot of like gaming, gaming stores. Right. So, uh, there was, uh, not too far away from where I lived was uh, the Adventure Game Store uh, in in Davie. Uh, that, that's where I had first moved to, and that's actually where I met my friend Brian. And he he was the owner of the store. Uh, I was coming in for a little while, and I are I was already getting into like just making like you know mock RPG modules and writing stories. Mm -hmm. And there was at one point where I you know I I showed I showed it to him, and he was impressed with the work uh and, and impressed with you know just what i did as, as like a free time hobby and he happened to be you know with the uh with the game you know a, a, a the secretary for the gaming manufacturing association i didn't know that and and said uh <laughs> <laughs> and said and said hey you know this this is this is cool you know uh mind if i show it to some people and and we got into discussions with uh and then and then with my my to be business partner Eric Weiner and we decided to say hey you know we could actually make some something you know with this why don't we put our heads together you know what we have Eric was the uh designer for um Arcanus and the, the witch hunter mm -hmm. you know, the world so he already had his experience so we got everything together and started the company and wanted to see what we could turn out no absolutely I mean honestly if that story doesn't kind of just highlight a little bit of uh of fate in there uh that i don't know what would uh <laughs> that that is it surprised me yeah. so <laughs> no that's absolutely yeah no i just happen to be hanging out with the person that can like set you up to get paid for your passion if you want it <laughs> yeah it, it's i can't say it was anything i i wanted to be a novel writer so <laughs> it's not something i ever expected to get into Fair enough. I, uh, creating stories and creating roles around the stories, I feel like, are pretty darn close. Yeah, uh, because I, I'm storytelling is my whole favorite thing. I I, I treat uh, running games or writing rules for games. It's kind of like story writing on the fly, right? You know, when you're uh, especially when you're running a game, you, you have the thing in front of you, but you can you can pick up whatever you want. So it's like, all right, I I want to do this. That's actually it's actually more fun. Oh, you he said the. And... <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was just saying. Oh, he said the name of the show, the rule of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm delirious after today. <laughs> you're seeing me in prime condition. You're good. I, I I haven't even I haven't had coffee yet, so I'm surprised I'm this lively right now. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, well. Uh, I I I do. It, it may be a little bit early to get the deep dives, but I I think that the universes that they come from deserve it from the pieces that I've been able to see and not spoil myself on. Uh, Let's do it. I'm ready. Can you tell us a bit about uh, the Espergenesis? Or Espergenesis, is it the Espergenesis? It's just Espergenesis. Okay, okay. Uh, it is a uh, 
Well, a sh short bit. It's 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 a heroic science fiction role playing game. We we wanted to make it the uh, the most comprehensive uh, heroic science fiction role playing game. It uses uh, the the fifth edition rule system. However, because it's sci fi, you know, uh, I had I had pushed in everything that you know that could possibly be asked for outside of a D and D game. So it has it has starships. It has uh, like a, a cooperative, like uh, like like ship and base operation system. Cybernetics. It has uh, futuristic and modern gear. Rules for galaxy exploration and rules for the Matrix and where where like and I I wanted to create a base setting also. So where. You know how D and D has has its its fantasy multiverse. So mm -hmm. Asper Genesis has like a has like a sci fi universe, and and uh, I wanted to put in a like like GM tips and rules so that anything that you love about sci fi because I I love sci fi a lot, and unfortunately that's you know I love D and D a lot, I love sci fi a lot. Those two didn't really you but know mesh. All they're, that well, they're so. <laughs> fine. They, they, they just happen to clash a little bit, but you, just, you, you yeah, can... just just that much, just that much. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I wanted to put in uh, a ways for GM, if, ways for GMs if they have like a, a real big love for a sci-fi setting, they can take an Astrogenesis book and make like a five E thing out of it. No, 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 no very nice, very nice. So. Uh, would there be a difference in saying, uh, in, in saying, as far as the cool rules within 5e, mm -hmm. is there anything being changed about the base rules or is it mainly additions? It is, some of them are changes, but they are changes to where it doesn't, it doesn't disrupt the core. Of, of the game I, I the probably the biggest uh the the probably the most challenging thing i actually had uh in front of me and one of the main things i wanted to do with esper genesis was to make it as compatible as possible with 5e with base 5e and other 5e stuff so you know i, I wanted to get to the point where like if if, if someone had a, a, a sorcerer and they wanted to, you know, travel to a distant galaxy or someone had their like halfling and wanted to stick them into the cockpit of a starship and, and they pulled out their fifth edition character sheet, those rules would actually work. And that that was the that was the goal, which actually which actually brings me to one of the projects that I'm working on right now. <laughs> which uh, uh so where you have all of these, yeah, where you have all these things together, uh and I, I, I wanted to do a project I called I called uh, Expedition from the Mysterious Beats, and it was it was something that I was planning for a while, uh, because when I was playing D and D, one of my you know my favorite things were the were the crossovers, right? You know, Barrier Peaks, uh, City of the Gods, and you know all, all of all of that stuff, and you know I I, I liked the, the lead-ins like Metamorphosis Alpha, all of that stuff was was great. But it didn't, you know, none of that actually ever really continued on, uh, as far as as far as old D and D is concerned. Uh, now that I had a sci-fi game, I said, you know, I said to myself, well, hey, now I can do a dual genre like crossover using all the inspirations from uh, from from these old uh, uh, classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch out! Watch out! Someone's watch gonna come out, after that, you. That's a <laughs> sorry, vintage. Listen, 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 I I I I qualify. I I qualify myself as old, so I can say it, but they are classic. <laughs> <laughs> Modules and adventures, and I you know I, I wanted to take it from a different tack because because I, I have a sci-fi game, so the uh the main the main uh part of the story is a you know you get to play two different uh, types of characters you, you get to you can play your fantasy 5e character and you get to play your sci-fi character the story is is that uh sci a group of, of space explorers they come across a distress beacon from a fantasy world where a spaceship had crashed in the mountains centuries ago right it's it's and it's uh a, kind of a a spiritual 
sequel and 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 it pays you know it pays homage to uh, all, all of those classic stories and and some and some settings that are no longer in publication uh there's you know it's it's a it's a campaign like a big campaign it has a lot of different elements and a lot of different uh callbacks <laughs> no i familiar with that old stuff i love like, finding oh. an easter egg yeah and it's it's great that i you know i get to uh, it, we're i can't even say it's it's not even recent uh but we're finally getting towards the end of production with it uh so uh we're excited about that because we get to release it on you know dnd's 50th right where well you're, you're you saying already, you already finally know. as if you didn't end your campaign just what april this year no 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 uh uh no our, our camp our campaign uh we had uh so this is this is going back to that story expedition uh from mysterious peaks was one of the big projects that we were working on as uh alligator Alley entertainment uh right before uh we kind of you know took, everything just went south and we've mm -hmm. been we've been delayed for a while our our our, our backers and our fans and my friends have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, we had, uh, after, after, you know, I had gotten everything together, uh, now Skydown Game Studios is carrying these balls, uh, you know, towards towards the finish line. Mm -hmm. And everything's, everything's coming together and it looks really great. And I'm super excited to present it to, to everyone. No, no, absolutely fantastic. Okay, I, I feel bad because now I'm wondering where I read uh april 2024 I, i'm so confused now but um that's okay <laughs> it's okay like i said lighter research whenever i'm doing it for myself <laughs> but regardless we are talking about the same project that went nearly three times over its goal am i right on that one that's correct yep okay okay so i was looking at the right one okay anyways Congratulations, and thank you for letting me know about all of the Space Warriors, and, uh, and I, I absolutely love it whenever, whenever, whenever two spaces like that can can genuinely blend and not. Mm -hmm. I, I like I I feel bad I feel bad for anyone out there who really loves IPs that do that are doing like the multiverse thing right now. I'm kind of tired of it, uh, but one where where like it's not just like oh hey I'm from this universe and oh hey I'm from this other one, uh, it, like actually going deeper and like integrating them is is an entire different thing altogether, uh, and I I I re I really fall in love with those kind of things and I think that's why I'm so harsh about the about the just oh I'm. <laughs> I'm dark, Triz. I, I you know, like. <laughs> you know I, I, what I mean? Okay. I can, I can understand that. I, it's, it's my favorite thing, which is probably why I'm such a uh, gigantic Star Wars fan. Because I mean, that's Star Wars is really like you know fantasy and and, and wizardry with you know, laser swords. And Very fair. Like, come on, you know. <laughs> that's 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 what it is. That's why we love it. No, no, no. Very true. Very true. Uh, well, since we've already talked a little bit about Mysterious Peaks, um, I know that you have one other project that you've already mentioned, but I, I think that you should talk a little bit more <laughs> about. Can you tell us a little bit more about the universe of Fantasy Star? Uh, sure. Um, Fantasy Star, uh, fantasy spelled with a PH. <laughs> it is, uh, it is my favorite video game series uh it's it inspired it actually inspired a lot of things in Esper Genesis. so the uh, just just the you know the excitement i have for for bringing it sort of full circle back to the ip where i i drew inspiration from is that that's an amazing feeling in itself uh so the it's it's a sega video game series that uh it i think the the first one came out in uh 1987 had uh the, the the classic games had three sequels and they in my opinion sort of you know broke the mold for a lot of things in uh in video game rpgs mm -hmm. uh, i think uh they they had uh 
Vega had had produced it in response to I, I think Dragon Warrior, and they had gotten together a team, and it was really you know two um, two women who who were who were on the who were on the staff, which was very unheard of back in those days, and they were both big sci-fi fans and Star Wars fans, and they came up with the concept of, hey, instead of this whole swords and sorcery thing, why don't we just throw some space in there? Let's throw in some spaceships, and uh, let's throw in some, you know, instead of the king of a, a king of a, a, a nation, he's going to be king of the galaxy, and then, and then we're, you know, we're going to have this big, and I instantly fell in love with it. It was, it was, it was great. <laughs> it was a, uh, it was a wonderful game, and it broke a lot of, a lot of norms, as far as games were concerned, and all the sequels, uh, very importantly, also did very unique things. Uh, probably one of the big things with um, with the Fantasy Star series storyline, which is something that I want to integrate into the RPG, is that it's the story is the storyline is very generational. It's uh, you know you play one game and then you know by the time you're in the, you're in the sequel, it's a millennia later, and a lot of the things that you know and it's the same galaxy so you have like all of these changes that happened and it calls back to you know to, to the original storylines that you were in and it does that in every game and there's one game that actually does that three times in itself <laughs> and and so i i you know I, I said to myself wow you know that's that's great what if i could write something that you know a has that has the rules from Asper Genesis, the, the, the space rules that, you know, the, the sci-fi rules that I wrote that I could put into the game to feel like the Fantasy Star video games uh, on a table at the same time, because I love the property a lot. And I've met a more fans than I, than I even, than I even knew that just came out of nowhere and was like, oh my God, I love this one. You know, when is it happening? And, and, uh, so I also want to make something for them, even if they don't play RPGs. I also want to do kind of like a attach, like a world, uh, like a world guide, like mm -hmm. a source book that introduces um, characters and like connected storylines from you know from all the games, and to give tips on how to make like a big you know generation spanning epic campaign because I, I love that sort of stuff. No, no, no. Me too. Being able to see the echoes of things that you did in in uh, in a previous session, previous or, or previous campaign, or previous session. Um, previous campaign, uh, you know, or or session. I mean, previous session is uh, to to me that's the norm. <laughs> Fair I, enough. I think I think you should I think you should pick up. I like big stories, so you know I think you should just pick up from where you left last, but uh, where you left off last, but. It, you know, it would be really cool if, since uh, the the fairy star setting goes across so many thousands of years, you could say, well, you know, this this you know your characters had done like you know this big event here, and this big event is actually going you know th this big event is going to have a major effect on the next storyline or campaign, and your characters that you're playing in that campaign you have bonds and interconnections with the characters that you played before or npcs that you ran into before and it, it was you know it's it's like a, uh it's it's great because the way that the games do it, it it almost it drops it where you're where you're not expecting it and you're like oh oh wow this is connected to this whole big story over here that makes it even extra cool and now my characters mean so much more and i i like that feeling and i i want to i want to put in you know some rules mechanics and some tips to to accomplish that uh first rule is get a board second rule <laughs> lots of red string just, <laughs> just sweaty brow i i'm imagining myself getting because i i get so excited about that kind of stuff too it's just it's a lot of work to get my brain to do it uh but being able to be like okay well that was actually on you know on you know th this was like light years away this was you know like far enough away to where like information wouldn't quite reach but uh 
you know, you know like the the effect of it has actually already hit you but the news hasn't like i i would be deep in the trenches of trying to figure out how to possibly make a story more complex so that i i can look around a table and see the oh oh okay like yeah. like that moment i would love to say that there's a that there's an app for that but i don't know which one. <laughs> I, know I know there are old computer programs i used to use for 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 novel writing those those will probably I mean, I mean, well, I mean, I, I would say, uh, I, I know that some stuff has come out about it, but I would say BetterHelp. That's a good app for that. Uh. <laughs> now I'm going to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It won't um, be in the book, though. Oh, download this app. No, that's, I don't think that's going to uh, uh, but... fly. Sorry, no, it, it was a joke. BetterHelp is therapy. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> See? Now I know I need to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, apparently not that one. I don't know too much about the about the uh, the thing, but you know, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna intermingle with it. Um, but uh, that unless you have anything else that you'd like to talk to the uh, talk to the audience with, uh, what else you got going no, on? I mean, that's 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 i mean that's that's what i have that's what i have going on right now the uh so uh fantasy so uh expedition from mysterious peaks that's uh going to be uh definitely uh coming fairly soon probably within the next uh, probably the next few months i, I want to have uh, the 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 majority of the content done uh fantasy star tabletop that's going to be a 2025 release uh but before then, uh, the studio is put putting together a starter, uh, a starter adventure, and uh, that we want to have out within the next couple of months. That's that's what we're going to be uh, introducing at uh, at Gamehole Con, and it's it's we have uh, it, it's a scenario using the the, the four uh, main characters from the original game, and they're running through one of the scenarios that happens during the first Fantasy Star game. And you know, I I, I I took it and and uh, converted it into an RPG adventure with you know, uh, and <laughs> I'm hoping that that is not only just fun, but for fans of the franchise there. Oh, okay. That's oh cool. no, no, no. I I I think that's a really really good decision. Uh, as far as, yeah yeah, the the, the more you can. Like some people will be like, oh, okay, callbacks to other stuff. No, I, I think that with something like this, I do genuinely think that it is people who are already mainstays. They they want to see what they what they know and then watch you build upon it, or you give them the tools to build upon it. Uh, and I, I absolutely love that. Uh, if that is pretty much it that is uh, only so, yeah, only you know three only, rpgs only that, yeah only that thing yeah. <laughs> only three rpgs i think you got a couple other things going on that just don't quite fit this conversation i'm pretty I, pre I, I think i've seen them over on uh over on uh over on the website or or or, or am i mixing things up uh it, you maybe be two things up but those those are those are the those are the three big projects that i'm working on right now. all right got it uh i will get that link saved so i can go to better help later uh well rich <laughs> where can we find you uh i am uh myself i i'm, I'm on the i'm, I'm on the uh, fortunately still on the angry bird site uh, uh at the at skyd on one or skyd on with the number one uh, you can find me uh, at also at Skydon Games. Uh, or my websites are skydongames.com. Uh, if you want to go directly into Espergenesis, you can go to espergenesis.com. Uh, you can find uh, Skydon Game Studios on Facebook. And you can just type in. <laughs> and the, the thing, I think it's slash Skydon Games. I, I haven't I haven't really looked that up. Uh, I, I I typed it in and it said yes and, and now it exists. So. <laughs> it said yeah, they'll probably find it. I think yeah, they will. They'll, 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 they'll find, yeah, they'll find it. But uh, but yeah, those are the those are the places where you can find it. Gotcha. Well then, perfect. Well, let me 
just make sure that I'm doing all this modding stuff correctly and make sure that I am posting about Fantasy Star. But, Rich, uh, we're, we're just about to be cutting over to some Emerald Glitch. It was fantastic speaking with you, and yes. thank you for all of your energy and everything that you do for the gaming community. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. This was, this was a lot of fun. Of course, of course. But, uh, Rich, please don't go anywhere, and Red PCs don't go anywhere, because we will be right back. All right, and there it is. Don't forget that we have a wonderful giveaway of three Esper Genesis RPG core rulebook PDFs. Core book, core rulebook, core book PDFs. Thank you so much to Rich for this fantastic giveaway. Type RMPC in the chat for your free entry to win, and don't forget about bonus entries. All funds help pay our cast and crew and keep producing content. Thank you all for joining. Now on to our episode of Emerald Glitch through the ringer. See you there, NPCs. Can I just ask, what does a summoning tea kettle look like? Oh, a summoning tea kettle. It looks... It's, it is made out of cast iron that has been painted ritually with symbols uh, in blood, obviously, that are oh, then coated and shellacked over so that they don't flake off, you know, that way it can last for centuries. <laughs> um, and we use a 
nice clear coat though so you can see them quite nice quite clear we we mix in with the blood we mix in the iridescent paint so it gives us a nice little beautiful shimmer especially as it heats up and as you heat it up that's where the magic happens because that is when all of the symbols start to glow and get bright and beautiful and as the tea kettle whistles that is the summoning ritual complete if you have an interest in using the summoning tea kettle or taking part in any of the other worlds in our games, you don't have to have experience. Just join our Discord and the GMs will work with you and help you find a game you enjoy. The link is in the chat. Ready to level up your cosplay game? Check out the Geek Forge on Etsy. With a variety of props to give your photos that extra spark, you'll find just what you need. Hold magical fire in the palm of your hand, or take a potion to restore your mana. With a large variety of colors, you can choose your own magical flavor for your cosplay. Bring drama to your photo shoots with these vibrant props and more, all available at the Geek Forge. Are you ready to level up your cosplay?
a spell. 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 She says spell like 92 times. You get to play with us now, which is so exciting. So with channel points, bits, and subscribes, you can give rewards to the player of your choice. So how to do that is, no, not Bob. Channel points, I believe it is 500 points, gets you nerfs, which is plus three to any dice roll to the player of your choice. For a thousand channel points, you can do a point of edge to any player. And for 2,500 channel points, you can do four edge to the player of your choice. Now for bits, for a hundred bits, that's $1. You can do the nerfs. For 200 bits, that's $2. You can do the point of edge. Or for five, 100 bits, that's $5, get four edge to give to the player of your choice. And finally, again, the subs, if you subscribe, you can give four edge to any player.
Hey there, everyone. We are back. But first, I did want to check in and say, drop a rim PC down in the chat below to be entered for a chance to win three Esper Genesis RPG Core Rulebook PDFs. I got it correct this time. Uh, it, that's what he sent me. If there's rules in it, I apologize. But uh, that is how you get it. Remember, subscribing gets you seven bonus entries uh, in order to win it. But with that out of the way, back into the game. We are back. I think last week we had some, last week there was some fun hat. Um, uh, Roven, yeah, fun. Honestly, um, personal best for me. That's yeah. tippy tops. I feel really good about it. <laughs> Robin got to help a emergent AI emerge in a non uh, malevolent way. Won't say the AI is benign yet, but uh, Frag and Drexstorm is um, non malevolent. malevolent. Uh, however, uh, there is a certain amount of property damage that <laughs> that AI is very willing to do based on. Um, well, not, it wasn't Roman that gave it. It was the muscled mustachio. Gave, Who are they? Gave the command to do property damage. And all of the old construction drones that had been abandoned in the basement of this place did some structural damage, did some property damage. Um, during which... Um, Although, despite the shaking of the building, uh, Violet, sorry, I went, I went, literally went through all of her characters going back <laughs> to the one from 2020. <laughs> and That's quite I the number. I needed to get to Violet. Uh, thankfully, I didn't skip over her and go to Prism. Uh, um, Violet, uh, Cree, uh, with Bucks, um, well, he didn't screw up. Assistance um, uh, was able to insert the uh, insert the BTL into the guy on death row, giving him what looks what looked like a touching scene for the couple seconds of it that uh, Violet was able to watch before she just turned it off. I'm not, the GM is not upset about spending all that time on the poetry and lyrics to that thing, to only to have them never be read, but uh, I digress. Uh, Violet's not going to peer into that sort of memory. Uh, Tank, Raptor, uh, both were able to, both have escaped from the Correctional Institute and are currently wanted for it, um, most likely causing both of their sins uh, to be useless. Um, Roven, well, not useless, but basically become criminal sins with a wanted, with uh, a wanted, yeah, with a bounty on them. Yeah, with a wanted status. With a bounty, so depending on the country you go to, it may or may not help you. Robin, uh, the muscled mustachio, uh, mm -hmm. is wanted uh, on. Um, is wanted for That's how you uh, behavior. That is yes. Um, <laughs> so uh, that sin was only a one-use sin anyway. So. That really don't affect you. Um, can I keep it anyway? You can. Um, <laughs> can I like store it's it? It's pretty like... much. Yeah, well, pretty much it will eventually become a criminal sin. So, yeah, you can keep it. Just as like um, a memorial. Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, well, you can I keep the info right for now. it. <laughs> yep. Um, mm, man, I gotta stop saying um. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was quick. It was, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 
The more you think about it, the more you will say it. Okay. Dang, you're right. <laughs> and what happened next was I can feel my gym so at this point uh, the team has escaped uh, two of the people pretty much need will probably need new sins and you're all taking a well needed uh, some downtime because uh, as I did a I did a map of all the different missions that we did and looking yes, at it you did it's very detailed by the way that is fantastic work one game master to another Mwah. but 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 going through it it's like oh wow i put these characters through the ringer uh in basically a little bit over a month so they're taking some downtime how much downtime uh depends on some of their own decisions and what they uh, do. So let's just start right out uh, with the person who probably will get, well, put up with person who gets screwed up the most by this because that sin was clean. Tank, you, your sin, um, that you run with normally is currently burnt. How are you going to address that? Um, I need to tell you something very important. I rewatched the episode in which I got taken in, and there's an important piece of information that I think will change your entire statement. The way I got picked up and the way I escaped prison are exactly the same. In my underboos. If they picked me up and ran a you, facial, they're going to get me, my birth name, the person, because I okay. wasn't carrying a sin with me. My phone and all my equipment were in my car where I was getting trashed at. Okay. So. No, nope. that's fair. Which mm. is why I thought you threw me in prison because I'm a known Yakuza. Mm. And I was just like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> for past uh, crimes. Yeah, no, uh, you, honestly, you got thrown in prison a little quick for that type of situation to have happened. True, you're yeah. supposed to be like a trial and everything, but. Right. Uh, but yeah, you did, you got tossed in prison like right off the bat, which was definitely a little strange. Yep. Um, don't so please go, don't collect $200. So at this point, you're, you had no identity on you, but it nope. is your face. Yep. That Which is. On the wanted posters? Yes, on the wanted posters. Kazi, Kazaki Oyanaki would have been the name that showed up. But of course, his Americanized, his Angelicized, and Angelica size, anglicized. Man, that was a twister right there. <laughs> Donnie, D O N N I E. But that was just the name he was given for the purpose of having an, an English speaking or an English name. Saki is what's on there. Okay. I mean, so I don't... What, what's on your character sheet is a little different, looks a little different. Oh, hang on. Under notes? Yeah, is... no. Okay. Um, yeah, I was oh, you're talking about like, um, yeah, oh, George Fer No, that, that's wrong. Okay. It should, it's under the notes is where my birth date, birth name. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me try so that over for you. So, yeah, what sin did you have? Uh, in the car when we were driving about, it was, uh, Francisco, because he was, no. Okay. That's his his go to carry around with him. Okay. When he's not planning on. Okay. So yes, you have some heat, but they do not have your ID. Yeah. Because uh, you don't have any clothes. 
well, no, it wasn't closed. That was the thing mm. with a rating with a rating for sin. They don't have any of your DNA. Oh, good. Uh, your DNA, however, is on file, and there is a bounty on Kazaki. Yeah, on Kazaki. Yeah. So oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And that I see you've got a rating six sin there. Mm-hmm. That one is effectively burnt. Because that it one has my criminal... DNA on it. Yes, it's a criminal okay. sin now. Okay. So that has a criminal sin with a wanted poster on it. So you still have um, a sin to walk around with. Okay. And what are you going to be doing when you first, now that you're out of the big house? Oh man, uh, heading to a junkyard. Stay in peace to my friends, catch you later, and zip into the junkyard. I gotta go play catch up. You're okay. Uh, you get some, I take it you get some cheap clothes. Yeah, I'm sure I'll pass by a businessman who's mistakenly stepping near an alleyway and get five finger discount on his wonderful threads. Okay. Um, give me, give me a, give me an edge roll. You love that. An name. edge roll. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. I called it. Well, yeah, because yes, you could, you are, you are thumping some guy who, uh, two, two, two. two okay. You are not unlucky enough to thump one of my, one of my characters, uh, from, uh, Seattle missions. Uh, that I had loaded in here. Um, and you do not get a shadow runner. So you just get a typical civilian. So go ahead and give me an initiative roll real quick. This probably won't sure. take long. If but, you want to, yeah. Um, 20. Be first. Yeah, you go first. It's not even worth rolling. Um, all right. What you're going to go in and grab him so he gets to roll. Um, see if he recognizes it. He does not recognize it as there, but go ahead and uh, roll your attack. Wait, I would like to make a close combat maneuvers to remove his shirt. You're just gonna, you're just gonna grab him and pull him into the alley, and then. Yep, and then oh. use close combat maneuver, close combat to remove his shirt. He's wearing a suit. You really can't. I like a one-piece suit, like a whole body thing? Man, he's no, not. he's wearing a suit in button-down shirt, jacket on. You can't just yank it off over the top of his head. Oh. Next time I see you, Tom, I feel challenged. Okay. Uh, um, listen. Hopefully, I, I, hopefully Red will be there to referee or... <laughs> you are the god of this world, but I will tell you that it really is like that. I can totally... Anyways, uh, so maybe close combat plus agility or athletics plus agility? Uh, it would be close combat. I am. Um, no mods. Four hits. Um... Okay, reroll three of those. Uh, that, that. Two. So that makes. So that means just. Yep, that means three. So you are still successful. Okay. Can I look right, at him. You're, you're able to drag. You're able to drag him in, and he realizes he's being mugged at that point. Fine. I don't got any cred sticks. Take the damn comm link. Okay. I, I toss the comm link on the ground, put the shirt, the jacket on, and say, pants, pants. And I pointed his pants. You want my clothes? No. Yeah. Most people have a problem with somebody running around naked. Well, I'm not really naked. I'm wearing underwear, but still. Pants, now. Come on, man. You've got money. You can buy some more. He, he uh... He's, he strips off his clothes. I take his pants. I yep. thank him, pick his comm back up, hand it to him, pat him on the shoulder, and I leave. Okay. Head to the junkyard. Yep. Um, at this point, 
he's you hear him what right chummer warehouse is their, their site is down their host is down what the hell's going on i stopped oh. looking what was that like looking over his shoulder like whatever he's saying is really important it's not but you know socially engaging i want to make sure that this guy doesn't feel like i'm a terrible terrible person i'm a terrible person but just not that terrible I'm what's going on I'm trying to order clothes, and the freaking place I get I get my clothes from isn't their host is not. Oh, damn, that's terrible. Uh, all right, I, all right. I'll call. I'll I'll call my assistant. Go ahead. I hope, hope hopefully those work better for you than they did for me. I give him I give him two thumbs up. You're a good one, man. And I'll leave. And I've heard the joke here. Okay. Um, all right, so what are you doing at the junkyard? Searching for, uh, my car. Oh, okay. Because my car has my stuff in it. Yep. All right. Okay. Last buck left me. <laughs> he was, he and I, I was having a bender because Candy and I had a bit of a breaking up. You know, she tried to feed me to a vampire. Well, uh, just, just so, um, just so I know, because I don't think that we've talked about it. Um, at this point, yeah, is uh, is is the one shot uh, is the one shot story canon? No, it's not canon yet. Okay, okay, that's nope, all I need. It's to not know. canon yet. It'll probably take time sometime during this downtime. Yeah, right. after this downtime. Um, okay. So, wait, say that again. Okay, so while you are hoofing it to the to the junkyard, yeah, um, Red, what is Raptor going to do? So Raptor would be heading towards the Barrens, where he knows that that he can lay low. Uh, mm -hmm. He'll call his motorcycle to him. Um, he's definitely well. He doesn't have any of his equipment until the motorcycle gets here. Right. Because all of his gear was on the motorcycle when they picked me up the first time. Yep. Uh, once he gets the motorcycle, then at that point, he's going to take out his comm link, shut it down. Um, I'm going to wipe both sins because though they got me on my criminal sin, which is my real identity, both my other two fake sins had my DNA on file, at least. Yeah. just in case they needed that high level of a check. So both of those are going to probably end up getting burned. Yeah. So at that point, once he's got all that, the first thing I'm going to do is get a new phone, one of the burner phones. And then uh, I will use my, my regular phone to kind of like get the major contacts that I need and send them out a mass text. Here's my new comm code. And then I get rid of the two phones that I had so that somebody can't trace me via my comm codes. Okay. So they can't do like a trace icon or something like that. So now I've got a completely new temporary phone until I get set up. And then I'm gonna head to the Barrens because I got some work to do. I got to track down somebody to get me a fake sim. Yep. Um, okay. You, you got enough, um, again, you have, all right, so you did that fast enough so that you, uh, things are still in chaos. Uh, so they don't know if you're a, so yeah, and so I will just outright tell you, nobody started, nobody started getting to that level of tracking you yet. Right. Because this is all pretty, uh, pretty chaotic. Okay. Uh, Okay, so you are headed to the to the Barrens. Let's see what Roven. What are uh, what is Roven up to? What is Roven up to after Roven. you get everybody and get going? Yeah, I I would like to find i i'm i want to go back to the beach for a while but i think mostly uh roman just wants to be around i do have a couple of things 
I want to make. So will you allow, <laughs> I have the one little air freshener, right? And it is a focus for uh, sustaining focus, but it needs mm -hmm. to be a six in order to fully sustain the, the mask for my whole vehicle. In I, there's not really like rules in the book that I could see that allow me to like increase its power, but would you allow me to like, eventually, I can't afford it right now, but eventually spend the the money to get like another force to, so like get another air freshener and like weave them together to be like a, a focus six. <laughs> Um, it's probably something, yeah, it's something you could, I think it's, I think it's something, I think you'd accomplish what you want to do. Yes. Okay. Once you, once you get the money, you probably we, we would require a little help from a, from a, a, a professional talismonger, um, to do it, but it, they would probably consider it an interesting, it, it would be, it would be an interesting problem to solve. So I don't see you having a problem uh, getting getting some help with that. I got to get the money first. And so yeah. I want to be like on the beach and looking for jobs. I sell boosters. I make enchantments. I do mm -hmm. stuff as long as like people provide me with the materials. So I'm like trying to like make deals and stuff like that on my downtime. Um, I'm also going to learn physical mask, the spell. Yep. Um, so I'm going to spend five of my karma to do that. And I also would like to state that I am, because I'm back at the beach, I'm like continuing to train my conjuring skill, like mm -hmm. in the water with like the water spirits and all of that stuff. Um, but it's going to take me five months. Yeah. Yep. We don't have to wait for me. I'm just going to spend yeah. the karma to do it and we'll get okay. One thing, one thing that will that I wanted to mention too that you can do is when you summon when you summon spirits, they can assist your spellcraft and everything like that. So you can actually summon a spirit, and they boost you. They will. They will. The spirit will provide a natural boost um, rather than the chemical boosters uh, to your spell casting. And when that comes up, we'll. Uh, I'll go into that better. Great. So, I will yeah. sneakily read about that while other yep. people are going. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> um, um, you do get, you do get a, you do get a phone call. Oh. Uh, um. From. Uh, um. Yeah, you get a phone call. Uh, from. Um. From a guy, um, it pops up, uh, um, what did I name this guy? Who are remember. you? Hello. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, it's blank. Hello. I, uh, I heard you're somebody that can, that can drive stuff around. Right. Yeah. Sure can. Um, great. Listen, I'm, I'm in a tough spot. I need some. My drone delivery fleet is down, and I need uh, a, a. I need to get some of the stuff out of the warehouse so it's in a different location for drone dash people for drone dash uh, flyers to come pick up. So how much can you haul in your vehicle? Oh, in my vehicle, you don't have your own. Uh, well. You want me to haul drones? Do you need me to have them? No, no, no. I don't need to. I don't need you to haul drones. I need you to, to haul haul clothing. Ah. Oh. oh, I could haul plenty of that. I could get you some math there. I'm not. It's not my strong suit, but oh, and I'm like checking the caller ID. Did you say who you are, though? I don't. Um, I, I don't work for strangers. What should, What shall I call you? Oh yes, I'm. Uh, even do you remember the name of that guy from Tuesday? The guy who, not Aldo, the other guy that actually owned it. I, I, no, I don't, I don't normally take notes on the Tuesday games, so yep. I did not take notes that night. Yep. Uh, uh, it's a Nordic name. Um, his name is now Calvin. Aldolf Gunderson. 
Uh, my name is Aldolf Gunderson. I am the uh, I I run the local uh, Chummers Warehouse branch, and um, and uh, we had a slight we're having a slight trouble with our drone. Ah, uh, uh. our, our drone uh, fleet. So we we had to to get a drone dash to do it, uh, but I just. It just literally, I just need you to, to to fill up on the stuff, park, and then drone dash will come to you, and, and get the get the clothing orders from that for that particular part of town. I just what? need you to be someplace different than uh, than the warehouse. So, I... uh, where would you like to park? So I can. Oh, well, I get to choose. Oh, I think you should choose. If I tell you where I want to park, you'll learn a bit too much about me, to be honest. Okay. All right. Uh, you That's a fair point. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm just... Aldo gave me these names when I was new to running, dealing with Shadowrunners. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he gives you a... Let's see. Uh, yeah, he gives you a location... You've actually stayed there before. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a uh, parking lot near the edge of downtown. Also, Tom, um, yeah. Joe in the comments, it was Oleg Thorson. Oleg Thorson, thank you. That's what I thought I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Oleg Thorson, that was who, that was who it was. Uh, <laughs> Hello, hi, it's Oleg. Well, I'll, I can I can meet you there. That seems but in the downtown area. Okay. Well, yeah, no, but I need you to come to any he pings you this location and we'll load you up. Right. I am a professional. I'll be there with my rig and we'll uh haul your clothes. That's look that'll be Thank easy you. enough. Yeah. Uh perfect. Um Okay, so uh is, oh yeah, uh, how much are you gonna pay me? I'm not good at this. Can I have can, can, what you what you got? Um okay, if you uh five grand for today. For today. Oh alright, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. Great. Oh you'll see you there. I'm on my way. Okay. Okay. Uh this is not a real phone, by the way. This is just, Robin just does this with their hand. The, always. <laughs> it's, the comm link is, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> hey, at least I know what that is. I saw yeah. somebody, I saw, I guess the new thing is to do this or this. That's yeah. Cause that's how people hold their phones now. No, I'm, this is okay. what phones were. This is what phones are to me. Okay. But like, <laughs> this is universal. That's so true. That's fair. <laughs> bridging the gap, bridging the gap. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's universal. You were doing one-armed uh, shrugs and you tried to use too much weight, right? That's what you mean, Exactly, right? yeah. <laughs> um, okay, now that, now that I've got uh, the quizzical look on Tyler's face. It took me a moment. It took me a moment because I was still thinking about phones. <laughs> uh, I knew, I knew Tara would have my, Tara would have my back on that one. Uh, so Buck, uh, you didn't burn any phones, you didn't burn any sins, uh, but you are taking some downtime. What are you looking? What are you interested in doing? Uh, I'm getting in on the area. I'm getting getting people's names i'm getting them figured out as far as how around here works uh again like like since if it's changed at all what what has you know come to pass over the past little while just getting to know the ins and outs again making sure okay. that doesn't change okay all right so you just you're just living your your normal life uh, nothing, you're not going for any special training or anything like that. It is not part of your plan. Maybe pick up an acting class. I don't know. <laughs> okay. He he kind of just, he kind of just floats. Uh, but okay. uh, he doesn't, he doesn't have anything in particular, no. Okay. 
Um, last but not least, uh, what is Violet? Oh, actually, yeah, Violet. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, uh, sorry, that scene was broken. Uh, so I, I think it was about the last 30 seconds to a minute. Oh, okay. So that's just, all right. So, um, okay. So that's, that's easy enough. Um, so, okay. So we're all good now. We're all good now. The... What we just talked about was establishing that TJ has access to Violet's car, and she is going to call it to come pick her up. Uh, when you call it, it is not in the same spot you parked it, uh, but it does come to you with a... Uh, when it pulls up before it fully stops a uh, relieved looking TJ uh, jumps out of the vehicle he was in the driver's seat uh, all right I did tell him what that job was and then the prison kind of fell down mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that makes sense <laughs> and he runs up and wraps you up in a hug she'll give it a second and then hands on the shoulders push him back okay oh, that's right your strength is significant. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. It wouldn't you, you, significant for a Decker. <laughs> it's it's more of a social push than a than yeah, a yeah. physical one. And, well, okay, she's <laughs> nearly she's nearly at max unaugmented for yeah yeah. Her so, that, so I right. suppose but, that is significant. Um, yes, yes, it is. Considering um, you're what at six, five. You're at five. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did some checking. Me, Tom, at my best, somewhere in the round of a three or four. So yeah, that's significant <laughs> um, for somebody violet size to be that strong. Um, <laughs> that's fair. So yeah, it takes a little bit, but he does go. Ah. And let's see if he holds it together. Um, do you say anything right after you push him back? I'm fine. You really don't get how worried I was, do you? I understand, and I was going to message you as soon as I got home. E okay. She's fine. 
I uh, I checked on her, made sure she uh, had some um, some food. Um, I will. Uh, you're you're okay. You're not hurt. You don't need. Not a scratch. Not a scratch. Okay. Good. All right. Um, okay. Well, I will. Uh, Glad you're back. I'm glad you got out of there okay. Um, I will I will catch up with you later. Yeah. Uh and... hey, I'm planning on telling Red and the rest of the crew I run with about everything. Everything? Yes. Okay. None of them are uh, anti-ghoul crazy, right? I mean, not that I've seen signs of. I mean, red. I, I figure. Figure you're you're. You'd be fine with red no matter what, but just because of the death looks he gives me. Uh, but. I think he sees it as part of his job. He's technically my godfather. I don't yeah, know yeah. if I told you that. Uh, I kind of actually, to be honest, it really didn't matter. He, yeah, he was. I have a feeling he would do it no matter what. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, okay. Um, did, um, did you want me there when you um, when you do it? I guess that's up to you. Uh, I don't. I don't know when the. Okay. Well, if you, if 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 you want me there, uh, let me let let me know and I'll be there. I'll let you know when. I've got a. I don't know when they'll be free. Uh, tank and red had to burn a few sins. I think Roven did as well. Oh, this was one of those ones. Well, yeah. Did I not tell you? Red got picked up by his PO, which is what sort of kickstarted this entire foray into brain surgery for me. Oh. I think you did, but it might have gotten overshadowed by the fact that you were studying up on how to the implant BTL data taps. Um, um, but you got the runoff. Uh, but they, it's, it's unfortunate, but everybody has to burn a cent or two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not the problem. I just, pretty sure they might be on some form of wanted status at the moment. I haven't, I haven't checked. Um. Um, but the two of them are technically fugitives that broke out of prison. And I... Roven may or may not have had a hand in the riot that led to all of the collateral damage. You... It was an You're... eventful few hours. You certainly have, yeah. Um, well, okay. I know a guy who should be good enough to get to get him sins. Oh no, I uh, thank you. I, I I do know. Uh, okay. Pulse introduced me to his ID manufacturer a few years ago. Okay. All right. Um, oh. Oh, I gotta. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna head out. And let you get back to your life. Yeah. Oh, and if you ever work with a whiplash, give him a smack for me. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll. Let, I'll get the story out of you later. 
he just kind of turns and, and and walks away. Just sort of like sit in the car, just where it's at for a moment, and just like lean her head back with that just that really, really deep sigh. It's just like. Uh, I've got so much to do still, and so much has happened, and I just want to not do anything at all right now. And then she'll drive home. <laughs> uh. And reach out to the others and see, uh, when... <laughs> It'll be a very generic, uh, when is everyone, or when are you free? Not a group, not like a group to me message to them all, but e each individually. Okay. Well, to figure I'll, out. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll probably put that back after the, when we come back after a break. Yeah. I will bounce back to Tank right now. Who has gotten to the, uh, you've gotten to the, um, The junkyard where you hit Cujo. My car. Uh, yes. Cujo is on the chip. Car is Fair just enough. the car. Yeah. Uh, with all my stuff in it. So, yep. uh, just go ahead to the pile I remember crashing it into. Okay, give me a memory roll. Was not after the accident, so I get all my time. <laughs> ba, 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 three. Three, okay. Um, you think you're heading to the right spot? And, uh, um... Give me a perception roll. Two. Two. Okay. There is signs that something happened here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can... Eventually, as you take... It takes you some while. You look around. You find some scrapings that match the paint that... Who, that uh, your car had on it. Right, right. But your car is not here. Oh, boy. Do I see any signs? Because it was, is this a junkyard for vehicles? Is it a junkyard for trash? Or are you like, was it? It was, it was really garb, just a junkyard for garbage. So yeah, they would have like some sort of large piece of construction equipment that would move it. Do I see any signs that have, that would have happened? No, actually you see signs otherwise. That something kind of did a lot of working, rocking back and forth. Uh, oh, to, somebody might have gotten in order to drive it. Okay, so um, I'll just track it as best as I can to kind of figure out a direction it went. Okay, go ahead and give me an outdoors roll. I don't have that skill. In intuition, defaults to intuition. What's the penalty on defaulting? Is it two? One. One. Okay. Um. I'm terrible you, at this. Yep. Well, I mean, it's not that difficult. There hasn't been much done in here. Yeah. And there was a lot of activity, right. including a helicopter landing to to whisk uh, the the person who uh, was uh, injured in the event away to the hospital, um, or at least pretending to be injured. I bet you, Buck. Yep. Uh, so you get, but pretty much once it hits the road, you got no idea. Yeah, figured as much. Uh, does the junkyard have cameras? You go talk to the to the plate to the uh, office. Yeah, why not? Okay. I'll use some of that amazing charisma I have. All two of it. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay. You go up to the to the junkyard. Office. Knock on the door. There's somebody in there. Appears to be watching Urban Brawl. Oh, you know what? I love that show. And and I'll be like, I'll make him jump around the corner and look at that TV look, and be like, oh yeah, you, know, this, a... you you appear through the window. Oh. So he, he... Oh, so it's not like a waiting room. It's like one of those little windows that you can look through. This is a, yeah, this is a junkyard. They literally it's a uh, there is an impound area. There was an impound area in it, so it does have a spot. Uh, but he stops, looks up. Yeah. Hey. We don't have any uh, vehicles here. I, yeah, I know, but you did. You did. You had for you did for a little while. Uh what's today's date? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know what today is. I just woke up. You just I'll smile woke up. at him. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you're asking me the date. Yeah, yeah. I parked my car in your yard by accident, and then, you know, it was a bender, so I was a little bit... Anyways, I was wondering if you saw where it went off to, like who took it, where it went to, if you got cameras or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Um... Uh, you know, some time yeah. ago, there was a ruckus, a helicopter, a bunch of other stuff happened. That was you? Oh, no, 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 that was, yes. Yes, that was me. But I wasn't, I wasn't in the helicopter. No, they, they, they shot me with narco jets and then they, they dragged me face down through the dirt. Yeah, yeah, but I was just, I'm looking for my car. Okay. Yeah, I parked uh... it in your yard. Okay, give me, give me, give me one second. Sure. I will, uh, you said you're looking for cam, we got cameras, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, give yeah. me, um, yeah, but they're behind, I think the controls are behind this, behind this door here. So, uh, hang on one second. And he goes to close the door to the half door that you were talking to him through. Okay. Uh, uh, and he closes it and you hear a latch, a click. I'm gonna go ahead and head outside. Uh, you are outside. Sorry, you were. Oh, there was no inside. Got it. There was, there was, there was, there was no inside. Yeah. Is there anything I can uh, five finger discount right now, like a garbage can or maybe a hanging jacket or an umbrella or something? Um. Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me uh, an edge roll. You love edge rolls like I love bacon. They're just a, you're, you're just looking to be able to five finger discount what? something. Yeah. Like an umbrella, sure. something to put over my head, something to put over my head. Um, yes. Garbage can, an umbrella. There is jacket. a tarp. There is a tarp there. I will totally take the tarp and put it over my head and start walking. Okay. Uh, give me a, um, I doubt you have con. So give, well, do oh, you no, have con? I do. Yeah, I do. Give me a con roll. Nothing. I'm gonna okay. Did I get a four in there? I did. I'm gonna burn two edge to turn a four into a five. You're going to use two edge to turn a four into a five. Yeah. Burning burning two edge would drop your edge from three to three to one and um would uh would cause you to get plus you cause you to get eight hits, which would be great. But it's not really worth it for the tarp. Okay. All right, you get the uh, you get the tarp over your yep. head, um, and you start you start away, yeah, um, and you do. That is actually enough hits to be ignored by the police cruiser that drives by. Yeah, is it? Is it? But it's you know. Um... Yeah. I need to go. I don't have my keys, so I need to go to my house and break in. Okay. Uh, and One of my we, houses. Yep. All right. We will hit that when Tyler gets back. When we get back from what Tyler is about to tell us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm giggling about Cat from the top rope. 
Uh, <laughs> I couldn't find my scene. Everyone, uh, this is your call to drop a red PC down in the chat in order to be able for a to enter for a chance to win. Wow, I thought I'd be able to find it in the chat. Does anybody else want to say it and I can pretend like I'm mouthing it real quick? Sure. Free Esper role playing books. That. PDFs of that. PDFs of that, yes. We will be right back. Can I just ask, what does a summoning tea kettle look like? Oh, a summoning tea kettle. It looks, it's, it is made out of cast iron that has been painted ritually with symbols uh, in blood, obviously, that are then yeah, coated obviously. and shellacked over so that they don't flake off, if, you know, that way it can last for centuries. <laughs> um, and... We use a nice clear coat, though, so you can see them quite nice, quite clear. We we mix in with the blood. We mix in the iridescent paint, so it gives us a nice little beautiful shimmer, especially as it heats up. And as you heat it up, that's where the magic happens, because that is when all of the symbols start to glow and get bright and beautiful. And as the tea kettle whistles, that is the summoning ritual complete. If you have an interest in using the summoning tea kettle or taking part in any of the other worlds in our games, you don't have to have experience. Just join our Discord and the GMs will work with you and help you find a game you enjoy. The link is in the chat. Ready to level up your cosplay game? Check out the Geek Forge on Etsy. With a variety of props to give your photos that extra spark, you'll find just what you need. Hold magical fire in the palm of your hand, or take a potion to restore your mana. With a large variety of colors, you can choose your own magical flavor for your cosplay. Bring drama to your photo shoots with these vibrant props and more, all available at the Geek Forge.
Are you ready to level up your cosplay?
Hey everybody, little vocal full up. Anyways, so drop a rim PC down in the chat to be entered for a chance to win three Esper Genesis, uh, Genesis RPG core rulebook PDFs. That is the giveaway. If you sub, you get seven entries. And back to the show. Ah, okay. So I believe uh, see we had left. So, um, Tank has established that his car is missing. Um, to continue the, uh, to continue around the Discord board, um, uh, we can, uh, hop to Raptor next. Uh, you, like I said, you haven't, you're doing this pretty quick, so you haven't hit the you haven't hit the wanted posters, so you're able to uh, give me a stealth a stealth roll, just because you're trying to avoid being picked up by the cameras, so that you can make it into the barrens right. without getting. And I was also on my motorcycle or kicking in my uh, my X guide override, so yep. that I'm not being picked up, as well as push on my transponder override that open that scrambles my number mm -hmm. so that they don't so they can't track me the on the motorcycle either i got six hits on the stealth um okay yeah you you make it into the barons uh, without worrying about you're positive that no camera is going to have a good shot of you so they'll be able to figure out and you also enter into a spot um, where you can head a decent um distance away um do you have a knowledge skill for the barons or that's where i live I okay have a map soft of seattle but i'm specifically going to be heading to boss hoss's house okay boss hoss is my fixer from the from when i was with the deadheads well yep. i'm still a member but uh, he was the president at the time uh, before I went into jail. Uh, okay. So he's my old prez and the one that yep. beat me in. You just going to show up at uh, his place or are you going to ping him first? I'm going to ping him first. I don't want to get some buckshot for her uh, uh, showing up unannounced. Yep. yep. You get, <laughs> you, uh, he, uh, He pings you back. Uh, come to the come to the diner. Uh, I'll you probably need a you probably need a solid meal. And uh, I got a spot we can talk at. I'll just hit him with a K and then move back and then uh, head towards that. Okay. All right, the, uh, let's see. Fantasy name generators. Um, <laughs> uh, you, mm, you pull up in front of the hungry crow. Um, it's a, it's a diner uh, that you know he, it, when you're talking, when he's talking to you and he says, meet me at the diner, this is what he's, he, this is what he's saying. So pull up, uh, let's see at this, uh, place doesn't, place has probably about, oh, huh? 10 other vehicles in there. Uh, looks like a variety, uh, possibly some of, uh, possibly some bikes you recognize, uh, or at least are close enough. But walking in. In the uh, electrochromatic paint of my motorcycle, mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring up on the sides of both tanks, the death head symbol, so that anybody who tries to mess with my bike 
knows yep. exactly who they are messing with. Okay. All right. So yeah, no, you get the death head. Uh, some on the side, some of the like I said, some of the other bikes have that already. Uh, and uh, walking in, uh, you see about twelve different patrons. At least four of them uh, are wearing are wearing the colors, uh, but they're pretty young. But making your way back to the booth, you see um, Boss Hog sitting in it, or is that Boss? Boss Hoss. Boss Hoss. Yes. Um, or lost uh, just for sure. Yeah. yeah. He looks up as you as you, as you get close. So up, Hoss? <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. Uh, I can't stay out of trouble, man. I'm sorry. I thought I thought you were gonna make it this time. Well, I thought I was gonna be able to keep my nose clean this time, but dude, done revoke me for some stupid stuff. Yeah, I wasn't going to sit in jail. I'm sorry. Just not going to happen, man. So uh, I decided to, you know, just get out. You can break into some place. You can break out of some place. That's just the way it is, right? You didn't. Yeah, but there's, there's breaking out and there is urban renewal. Well, that wasn't my fault now. Like, I was doing all stealth-like, and then this muscled mustachio just showed up, and they were awesome, to be honest. Muscled, mustached, it was a good mustache. And then they had this drone army, and uh, the main drone, its name was freaking Drake Storm, which is a freaking awesome name, right? And the muscled mustachio commanded them to just tear up the place i figured that was a good distraction so me and my buddy off the side door but it works i'm hot like nova you know what i mean yeah i've had to burn all my sins i just need like a small sin so that I can have a walking around sin, you know, so that I'm not ghosted and drawing suspension to myself until I get something better. It's something quick and easy. Yeah, in fact, here. The, uh... Yep. You can see where you fall on the bounty list. Yep. So, that's where you are. Uh, yeah, let me pull up what I got. Let's see. Uh, I assume you want some, I assume you want something that is orc based. No, I prefer human. I'm human, Tom. Oh. <laughs> okay I yeah wow okay uh let's see all right so I look up look up boring all right I got 14 of those more boring the better uh yeah I got, I got 14 of those. yeah that works uh all right um So what uh, what rate are you looking for? Something I can bounce around the barrens with, man, or at least be able to walk around town. Okay, know, so like mid tier so kind of stuff. Nothing with DNA attached to it, or any fingerprints, or any bios. Because if they check my bios, it's going to bounce back bad no matter what, man. Yeah, no, I get it. No, okay. Let's see if. Uh, so you're looking. You're looking in the, uh, you're looking for a, a three or, you're looking for a two or a three right now. Yeah. Something with a picture of a bearded man that they can confuse for me. 
pretty much it. Maybe has, you know, a little bit of an extended history. No, now, the last time you got me a sin, it was attached to some really kinky stuff that dude had been buying all over the Matrix. Let's make this one a little bit PG here, man. Ah. <laughs> uh, I... The advertisements I got on my com link, Pilot was pissed. I made her clean them all up. Okay, for Violet, for, for Violet. Uh, all right, well, I got, yeah, all right. I got one on a C, you know, one on a three that matches you. Um, how many, how many licenses are you going to want attached well, to Right it? now, I'm just going to go low key and just get a driver's license, man. All right, I, so I'll that. Have to, I'll have to build up the repertoire again where all my equipment, I'm just going to have to keep it low key, that's all. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me uh, an influence roll. Um, plus, you can add in your loyalty with this guy. He doesn't. Ha I don't have influence. Okay. Then just um, charisma minus one plus your loyalty with this guy. Okay. Got two successes. Okay. All right, I can, uh, since it's you, this did run me, I don't know, this did normally, for people walking out the door, this would run, no discounts, this would run 92. Bob. No discounts. You charge me full price. You know I don't mess with your business. All right, this will run you 92. I appreciate 9, it. 9,200. All right. I'll pull right. out uh, my actual cred stick, cred stick, slot it for him. Yep. Uh, now, here's the friend thing that you could do for me. Uh, Violet isn't a rat. I'll pull out the, the, the com link. Can you put that scent on this damn thing? Hang on. <laughs> Yo, Stumpy. Get over here. Here, um, do the, uh, connect the sin on this, get the sin loaded on this com link. Uh, God, you want the, uh, you want the history too, right? And no, no, I, no, there's a, no, I don't want the, no, none of the special history. Got it. Be right back. Takes a comic link, walks away. All right. So yeah, man, it's going to be a little bit. I'm going to have to go find a new place. I have to get it with the new sin. I have to switch over with my vehicles. I'm going to have to go steal my own dang van because they could be watching my old house. Like there's just a lot to do when you break out of jail. I guess yeah. it is. It 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 does. Uh, there's always the. Uh, well, plus that is you're doing this. You're on. You're on a pretty good. Uh... Now, uh... that's not attached. I do got a place. Take you a little bit to clean up. Is it attached to you somehow? Because I mean, they're gonna also probably check with my old contacts. Like they they know who yeah. I'm connected to. Yeah. So no, it's not connected. connected to you. No, no, it's not. I, I got it. And you'll have to pay. It's, it's, um, let's just say that the, the person has agreed that I get the profits from it, but they still, they still own it. I got you. Uh, and it, it will probably require a certain amount of cleaning. Uh, so as long as you're willing to do a little elbow grease. Oh, I'm always willing to do some elbow grease. That ain't no problem. Yeah. Um, and probably some bleach. Uh, so um, lye wouldn't hurt either. 
Uh, so, um, but all that said, you know, yeah, place, uh, place will be, uh, yours. It's got a garage, but there's no tools attached to it right now. Place is pretty much cleaned out. But last time, no, you'll have to fix the garage door. Is that what we drove the pickup truck through? All right, well, I'll fix her up a little bit. That's not a problem. Is it here in the Barrens where I can keep a little okay? Yeah, yeah, no, that's kind of why it was perfect. Um, yep, yeah, um, here. I will, uh, he, he, kid comes back, slides you a, um, the com link. Perfect. Over to you. Um, and he's, once you activate it, he swipes you a, an address. I'll, uh, I'll let them know that you got a, uh, they got a tenant. Uh, now that I approve of, and it'll be good to get somebody who's not, uh, not connected to the gang there. So just make sure you don't have the, the symbol on the bike. Oh, no, right. no, man. Symbol goes away whenever I need it to go away. I know I don't fly colors in certain areas. Yep. Nope. If you do that, you keep the place clean uh, for a while for me. That'll work out perfect for, uh, for what I need it for. When you're done with it, I'll, uh, it'll be able to go back and uh, be useful. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. All right, well, I need to get, because I have to get this bike switched over to the new uh, sim before they start doing traces on it. Sounds good. Good seeing you, Hoss. Good seeing you. Keep your uh, keep your head down, Raptor. Well, you got my new number now, so you need anything, you just call. Oh, trust me, I will. All right. And on the way out, I'll notice that Bilo texted. Mm-hmm. I'll shoot her a message. Whenever you want at this point. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Um Roven. Um, pulling up to outside, you see a You see several, uh, what could be described as giant wheels. There's a, there is a bike in Shadowrun that is basically just a giant wheel. You sit inside of it and it, you like ride. Like a wheel? Um, yes, effectively, yeah. You sit inside of it and the motor turns the outside of it and you, uh, you go that way. These ones have been modified so that they have uh, inside them uh, racks and racks of clothing. Like a, like, you know, about, actually about that wide of a whole bunch of packages containing clothing of some kind. But they are in various states of disarray, knocked all over the place. And uh, outside, you see um, a uh, human, well dressed. Looks a little clothing looks a little rumpled, but generally very well dressed. Um, with a, a perfectly flop uh, hairstyle. Uh, and uh, you pull up. Uh, hello, you are. You were wondering what that call. This, where'd you? You didn't put it all back after you rifled through it for your outfit. Uh, no, I just haven't. You're the first one here. I haven't had a chance to get everything picked up after the, after, after the uh, people doing the upgrades on my post for the drone uh, got completed. Right, I'm gonna to pretend to know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, Good it job. would it, that would make one of us. This has been a rough day, uh, but I can let me uh, let me get you the let me get you the clothing. 
Um, these are all RFD, RFID tagged. Uh, here is the the inventory for them. Oh. Uh, oh, gosh. Sorry, I just read Joe's Clockwork Tubas talking about Bert and Ernie. I was um, going to ask about Bert and Ernie. <laughs> Wouldn't that fit Statler and Waldorf better? Oh, 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 uh, like, like, uh, you, you're talking about the older dudes up in the, up in the... In the Muppets. Yeah. 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 That's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we, we already have it established for season three. Yes, it Don't is, worry. sort of. Yep. Um, three is definitely tree coded. <laughs> <laughs> I am oh. absolutely Oscar the Grouch. So you get, um... Yeah, so he helps you load up your vehicle with a, a bunch of tags and says, okay, now here, this is, um, yeah, okay, yeah, this, here it is. This, this is a tag that will identify you to, um, this com link here has the, DoorDash identification on it uh, so that wherever you parked, uh, DoorDashers will know to be able to come to you uh, for a particular style. Um, and the whole system should be able to handle handle the ordering and such with the host. Uh, with the host, you just uh, need to be there and need to be available to uh, hook it on to the rotodromes that fly up to your fly up to you um just for the sake of it we did call it something else not drone dash yeah yeah okay drone dash. did this, i say drone dash you, you said, uh, you door, said door, dash door dash like three I times door dash. so i was just gonna wow. <laughs> no. drone dash yes Gotta be drone careful, Tom. Dash. you'll come in them <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you know what i i'm i'm really not worried about i'm really not worried about doordash's lawyers i'm sorry i'm just not oh i'm not even thinking um, about their lawyers i'm just thinking about like an order that you didn't ask for um uh -huh. that's fair. uh that's fair but uh the so drone dash yeah Wait, did I just sign up for a long-term job? What's happening here? No, this is just today. This is just today. I should have, I should have, the 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 rigor that's working said that we should be able to get the 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 draw my drone fleet functional again. It's just some of them, some of them ended up in weird locations during the upgrade. Um. Yeah, Maybe one ended up actually. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, one ended up in a fountain. Um, yeah, yeah, classic. Um, and you see what happened here. Now, looking around here, yes, you see what happened, but you also see bullet holes, and what looks like a large hammer struck one of them. So, um, it oh, yeah, doesn't. Yeah. So, so anyway, uh, yeah. If you do this. Um, Five thousand new yen. The whole thing. See, I thought it was just one job. See, I'm gonna need more than five grand for just for more than one job. If I'm gonna be running around all day, you're not running around. You just park and that's it. And then they come to me though. They come to you, yeah. No, I Did think you... I think just a little, just a little, just a just 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 a little bit more, don't you think? Just just a little, perhaps uh -huh. perhaps a little. A little, uh, 500 or a thousand. A thousand for every one person who comes to my van, who, who, who looks me in the face I and... Oh, I, I don't... Well, no, nobody's going to be looking you in the face because they're, they're all drones. Um, oh, but right. I don't make 5,000 for delivery. I mean, I can I can give you another thousand for the whole day. All right. That I can yeah. do. That works. Yep. Okay. All right. Just... All right. Here, here, here. Here's a thousand. And... I'll give you that right now, and then the next next five thousand will be at the end of the day. Great, great operating expenses, as it were. Uh, right. Well, also, yeah, uh, keep your eyes out because uh, there are some drones out there who uh, 
there's, there's, a, there's, there's a bit more going on there than than uh than our uh, mates the eye. This is and no, uh, they might okay, want to okay, take fine, it. Fine. Fine. Well, I'll give you another thousand. Just don't tell anybody that I was hacked, okay? <laughs> right. Would never. Thanks for the uh extra. I I need that though. I uh to keep. Yeah yeah yeah. Here, here's the extra thousand. You right. just yeah um, on yeah. you Shadowrunner's honor. You gotta you gotta not not talk about Thanks, it. No. Okay. Right, Shadowrunner's honor. I swear to that. <laughs> Good day then. Good luck to you. I suppose you'll need it. Uh, uh, we've already loaded the stuff up. Yeah, you loaded the stuff up. Yeah, yeah. You waited until you waited until it was gonna, you know, before you started negotiating. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, as you're getting in your van, he pulls out a flask and takes a swig of it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So do I, and I uh, drive off into the sunset. Yep. At, at this point, you get the message from Violet. Uh, um, oh, how free am I? Yeah. It says, when are you free? When am I free? I'm always free, love. I get responsibilities, but I'm always free. Um. Okay, as you pull away, um, you get, uh, you start getting pinged uh, with uh, drones um, essentially following you until you park, and then you hand them racks of clothes, and then they take back off uh, through the through the air. Um, uh, it's not, it's a, it is a, it's not the most exciting way to earn 7,000, uh, but you're not getting shot at and no, no equipment is being damaged. It was in fact a milk run. <laughs> baby, uh, baby, lemon, green. All right, so following the path up the Discord, um, Window going counterclockwise to Buck. Um, so Buck, you are going to um. Uh, you are sorry. I had to bring some topics. Sorry. Uh, um, you are going to uh, an acting class. Mm -hmm. It was an incident Tuesday with a Capri Sun. Yeah. Uh, and uh, actually, yeah, no. Anybody, anybody who's had kids will understand the concept of a critical glitch with a Capri Sun. Um, ouch. Uh, inside the vehicle. Um, it wasn't so me. Don't give me that look. I'm playing an AI. I was playing an AI Tuesday. They do not drink anything. I I don't know what to think right now. So now all I'm thinking is that you somehow busted a Capri Sun. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Um. So um, as you walk, as you are, as you are leaving the, you went and just kind of grabbed grabbed an improv class that was a group that was meeting uh, give me a give me a con roll is this is a I, I just want to know for context is this like a real con or is it a fake con where like everyone knows well, this, I'm is a con, this is a con where you're talking your way into the class oh okay okay sorry i was like trying to do the thing where i was like oh but what's my motivation yeah. Your motivation is so you don't have to pay the class fee. And you can just kind of slip in like you're like you're part of the class. All right. No whammies. No whammies. I would say it's a great role, but it uh yep. Um you were just able to squeak by, but you get uh 
you just do it good enough and the rest of this class is pretty bad at it so the teacher is actually willing to put up with you um so but uh so you are you are doing uh good it's a good solid class no no trouble um and as you're walking out um you um made a couple of contact a couple of people were gonna go out for drinks afterwards and you were gonna go along and mooch off of their their drink orders um oh absolutely then, yeah um give me a perception roll And then give me a memory roll. I can only see one at a time, so I still don't know what I rolled. You rolled three for perception and two for memory. Okay. All right. Well, you do not bump into the orc that is standing there. And you... He looks vaguely familiar. Um, I'm trying to think of. Give me a. Actually, you kind of already did give me that. So yeah, he looks vaguely familiar. He's got all the accoutrements of a, a talismonger. Um, and that's where he kind of you vaguely remember something about. Alice Monger and, and Tank and you were drunk getting and getting bailed out of a drunk tank. In the past. Just oh um Okay. Okay. And he's standing he's standing in your path. Everybody's just kind of, they kind of just parted and kept walking. Um. And everyone is kind of like parting ways around him? Yeah, or... yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, you guys, there's, he, he's an orc. This is not an orc neighborhood. Um. And he appears to be trying to look in, you know, intimidating. So they all kind of just, he's strange enough and intimidating enough. They all just kind of keep walking. None of them are, have gotten that. You just met them all. So you're not at the, uh, stay with you in case you need backup stage with their, in of, of terms of friendship yet with them. Completely fair, but the, I, listen, like, I'm trying to get up in the hierarchy in this improv group. You know, I'm just really trying to... No, I'm... <laughs> I am... Uh... You are so Tank's if... friend. Yes, I am. We How... need to talk. Okay, um, can I have just a moment? I will be at the stuffer shack. You have enough time for the burrito to, to, to thaw. Wouldn't have it any other way. He um, walks off to a stuffer shack. Gotcha. I'm gonna go uh, just over to that group that I had walked in with and uh, just come up with something, uh, you know, like that. that that's actually like a uh, like a, uh, a a step brother of mine or something along the lines, and be like, sorry, no, he actually needs me. Uh, I I I can catch up with you guys later. Okay. 
<laughs> just just anything. <laughs> and they all kind of look at each other. <laughs> okay. Um, they're artists. They should understand. <laughs> uh, it's an improv. It's, it's, it's a beginning improv group. They're not really artists. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, oh no, Tom, not the gatekeeping. What was the term you used earlier? Weekend thespians? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's so good. No, this You're is... still weeding out the guys who think that being in that group will get them women. Yes. That's fair. That is fair. They are, they're, they, it is still at the stage of... Uh, it's still at the stage of thinking it's a dating... It's a dating mm. club. Um, uh, so what you're saying is that they believe it without any role because they're not here for me. Got it. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> or they just don't care enough to. Yeah, I mean, it's that. Um, uh, so, yeah, he, uh, you walk into the stuffer shack. Um, just as the... Uh, the uh, heating unit dings. Don't and, try to uh, be on time. Gotcha, Slurpee. Thank goodness. Uh, he tosses down, he tosses two burritos, or he tosses three burritos on the uh, on the table, one for you and two for him. And there's a, a Slurpee there for you. Um, he sits down, uh, he pulls out a flask. Uh, you want to fortify it? Uh, do you mind me just chasing it? That works. All right. Uh, he fortifies his. Uh, Buck is just going to take a swig out and then follow yeah. it up with a Slurpee. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then one more swig. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so... Tank's been, Tank's been telling me he doesn't have time to do a cleansing. Tank needs to do a cleansing. Is he dirty? I am so glad I did not have any tea in my mouth when you asked that. <laughs> He's a dirty, dirty orc. He's a dirty, dirty orc. I need baby wipes. Oh, uh, my, my, my face looks like this, but but Buck says it with a completely straight face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they say about you is right. It's a good thing you're pretty. No, Did he is not. Quiet? He just goes, thank you. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Uh, it is... Oh, God. You are incorrect. I do not talk about the physical dirt on his, on his exterior. I'm talking about the pollution of his body. Okay, thank goodness, because I already knew that his physical body, his physical body was probably very dirty. Okay, we're gonna stop talking about his physical body being dirty now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me server mute you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you. When he came back from New Orleans. You all had that crap in you. Right. From, from what I can tell, it's mostly out of him. And what's left in you is... benign? Recreational? That, 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 uh, that's more or less what I was told. Yeah. Okay, I'm, we're not going to talk about that either. Um, don't need details. Uh, but he... Tank 
still has pollutants in him. Has been having pollutants in him. Someone has been regularly dosing him with some kind of I'm trying to think of the, the, the opposite of booster, but it the opposite of boost is retard. Oh, no. I, don't, I don't really think I want to use that. I don't think I want to use that term. Uh, I would call them limiters. Oh, oh l limiter or extinguisher. I don't know. L uh, it um, makes it tougher for him to think and remember things. And he's been getting it long enough that it's fouled up his body. Are, are, are you saying that even if all this was pulled out of him, that he's he would still be seeing the effects of it? I'm saying, first off, we need to get it out of his system. Second off, he may start going through a withdrawal form from it because word on the street is that him and Andy are no more. And I believe it was Candy that was giving it to him. How do you know that it was in his system? You really don't know anything about magic, do you? Not even a single thing. <laughs> uh, sensing him. Okay. He let me do a deep um, sensing, and I knew something was wrong. But I wasn't sure about all of it. But something needs to be done. He's I I can see him being a dangerous. But I also don't want to be the one to approach him about it. Because I don't know how he will take it. I he's not going to be dangerous. He's he's not it doesn't matter what he's going through. I can't see him harming someone like that. I, I I'm I'm gonna go talk to him. What what do you need for cleansing? Um, he needs to dedicate a certain number of hours to it. Let's just say he needs to dedicate a day to it in my lodge. All right, all right. I'm gonna go talk to him. Um, this burrito and Slurpee were great. You can have the rest of. You can have my burrito. Uh, I'm gonna go follow up with the group, and uh, I'm gonna go meet up with Tank afterwards. Uh, he he swiped you a come. This is my com code. Perfect. All right, I'll let you know. Okay. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take over. This is no longer Buck. This is now Tyler. And say that it is right about time for a 10-minute break. Uh, where? You should drop a RAM PC down in the chat in order to win a... It's right here. It's right here. All I got to do is click it. Uh, in order to win a chance to win a 3 Esper... To win three Esper Genesis RPG Cool Rulebook PDFs. Uh, so go ahead and drop that down in the chat. That gives you a free entry to win. And we will be right back.
can I just ask, what does a summoning tea kettle look like? Oh, a summoning tea kettle. It looks... It's, it is made out of cast iron that has been painted ritually with symbols uh, in blood, obviously, that are oh, then obviously. coated and shellacked over so that they don't flake off, but, you know, that way it can last for centuries. <laughs> um, and... We use a nice clear coat, though, so you can see them quite nice, quite clear. We we mix in with the blood. We mix in the iridescent paint, so it gives us a nice little beautiful shimmer, especially as it heats up. And as you heat it up, that's where the magic happens, because that is when all of the symbols start to glow and get bright and beautiful. And as the tea kettle whistles, that is the summoning ritual complete. If you have an interest in using the summoning tea kettle or taking part in any of the other worlds in our games, you don't have to have experience. Just join our Discord and the GMs will work with you and help you find a game you enjoy. The link is in the chat. Ready to level up your cosplay game? Check out the Geek Forge on Etsy. With a variety of props to give your photos that extra spark, you'll find just what you need. Hold magical fire in the palm of your hand, or take a potion to restore your mana. With a large variety of colors, you can choose your own magical flavor for your cosplay. Bring drama to your photo shoots with these vibrant props and more, all available at the Geek Forge. Are you ready to level up your cosplay?
spell, 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 spell. She says spell like 92 times. You gotta feel it. Spell, 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 you get to play with us now, which is so exciting. So with channel points, bits, and subscribes, you can give rewards to the player of your choice. So how to do that is, no, not Bob. channel points. I believe it is 500 points gets you nerfs, which is plus three to any dice roll to the player of your choice. For a thousand channel points, you can do a point of edge to any player. And for 2,500 channel points, you can do four edge to the player of your choice. Now for bits, for a hundred bits, that's one dollar. You can do the nerfs for 200 bits, that's $2, you can do the point of edge. Or for 500 bits, that's $5, get four edge to give to the player of your choice. And finally, again, the subs, if you subscribe, you can give four edge to any player.
All right, now. Tech. Um, how, well, first off, what is your lifestyle? Uh, on the sin that still exists and hasn't been burnt. Uh, well, it doesn't it, have one, but the one that has been burnt is uh, low. Well, tricky. Okay, so basically, you 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 live in low. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the, the trick is that that location. Um, nobody's there yet, but we're talking about, like I said, the. We're still in the hours after the place was destroyed in the rubble, and they're still looking for stuff. Sure. Um, the, the James Halleck uh, ID sin has my DNA on file, so yeah. it's not mm -hmm. the same person who they arrested, because that's yeah. uh, Kazaki. Yeah. But they but, have the same DNA, so they're just going to well, cut down the sin because it has the same DNA. Yes, eventually it gets shut down. Right now, though, uh, you don't have a comm link that opens your door. How are you getting in? Dude, I can punch through walls, man. That's fine. I and windows. To... And windows. You, you just needed to state that you're breaking in. I am breaking into my own house. I said that okay. earlier. Uh, I, I keep yeah, a brick but... by my front door, and I take it around to the back of my house, and I I'll throw it through a window. Because it's a house, or... I don't know. Yeah. Where did I pick this place at? Okay. I didn't um, pick a place. All right. Um, yep. You break. Uh, you break in. Yeah. That is not a. That is not a problem. Um. Well, it is. I uh, go ahead and give me. Are you using any kind of stealth, or are you just? You're just doing it. Stealth in a neighborhood that's already pretty bad. Okay. Like. No, I just wanted. I just needed to. The, most needed. of my neighbors are probably hopped up on boosters right now and trying to wait for their next welfare check to roll through. Okay. All right. Then lifestyle. give me give me an edge give me an edge roll oh and then you get into your place. Edge roll. Decided that the only thing I need to boost up through training is edge. I really won't change it. I tend to go by the percentage of hits versus that. And there's a lot of times it's just do you critically glitch? I got two. It's just a way to keep the dice, to make the dice make the decisions for me. Uh, so I don't accidentally end up beating up the same person. Um, because I've been accused of beating up the same uh, players, I just, uh, I just characters, boyfriends a lot. I'm just getting uh, into my house. I'm just gonna. Yep, you're in. Get into my you're house. in. I'm gonna okay. get my meddling, which is the only thing in the house. And uh... okay, you basically cleaning out your place. It's, no, there's nothing there. Like okay. I'll get some new clothes, and then I'll pick up the meddling for Francisco and his sin, and. Uh... Yeah, that's it. Now I need to call my car. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and pick up my explosives, my door poppers, my car stoppers, my troll cappers. They're probably there, too. Uh, as well as my boosters, like my extra Nova Coke, my Psych, my Long Haul, my stim patches. Give me a things. perception roll. One. Did I get any One. fours? Yes, I did. I'm um, gonna use two edge to make that a two. Um. Okay. Somebody's been living here. Cool. Um. Uh, are they here right now? No, they are not here right now. Did they eat my mac and cheese? I had a bowl of mac and cheese in the fridge. Oh yeah, that's gone. Oh. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm gonna grab my like I said the meta link, uh, change of clothing, an extra change of clothing. Uh, yep. I get out a fresh package of mighty tidy whiteies, not opened, it's brand new. So I'm gonna stick that in a bag, 
uh, grab all my boosters and my uh, okay. My Half the boosters are gone. Oh, uh, but your mac and cheese you, and my boosters. And your but well no, just half your boosters are gone, but your clothes and your explosives are still there. Okay. Well, I will gather, like I said, change of clothing, put on a new thing of clothing, grab my underwear, boot, grab the rest of the boosters, the poppers, yeah. my metal link, and that that's it, man. Like the rest of okay. my place. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So um you got a message on this metal link from Violet. And um she's asking when you guys when you are free to get together. And is your call in your car? It does not answer. Okay. That sucks. I leave it a message going, dude, where are you? Uh and then I will text message violet and be like i can't find my car can you find my car for me i'll take out your trash or something and that's i send her that message it is not responsive hey when can you meet up it was it's literally that. yeah this is yeah that now now it's between the two of you i don't need to be involved unless she's making rules boop, 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 boop. i can't i find my car help me find my car and i'll take out your trash or something I remember Cujo following us, and I sent it an order. Didn't I, like, send it an order to go park somewhere? Yes, you did. Do I still have access to Cujo? Um, you I'm can reach trying. out to you. You can reach out to Cujo. Yes, you have the you have the uh, vehicle ID and everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I guess, basically ping the vehicle. Okay. Um. Yeah, actually, I, text it, again. I, I still can't get in touch with Kujo. I can't get in touch with my car. Are you there? Are you there? I'm looking. Give me a minute. Um. Thank you. Yes, you do. Actually, uh, you can reach out to the ID. Um, and you do get, yeah, I'll say you can trace it. Um, but the, um, you can trace it. It's in a very different location. Actually, it is near, it's near that, uh, cyberware clinic. It's parked near that cyberware clinic, and the pilot's gone. As in, somebody deleted the pilot program. Looks like it might have been boosted. It's here, and then she'll send a ping. Basically, GPS coordinates. Well, with my metal link, I'm able to look at the yep. matrix, and I can use that to all butt to my car. And because I am a adept with some ridiculous abilities, I'm just gonna go get on a bus and ride there. <laughs> okay. Because uh, you go. my other Finn, but it Francisco, he totally yep. isn't wanted by the police. Mm -hmm. Francisco's gonna go ride the bus. Okay. Um Francisco gets to your car. Um, it is non-responsive on the matrix. It's like somebody lobotomized it. Uh, but you can get in and drive it manually. That's fine. Um, I have no driving skill, but uh, we'll figure this part out. Hopefully okay. your reaction makes up for it. Um, seven. My reaction is a seven. I should be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Say that. I've seen a lot of yeah. glitches this week. <laughs> um the roll 20 i can understand so go ahead and give me a don't say edge roll of six dice which covers your reaction minus one three 
Okay. You are fine getting this on the road. Um, at this point, uh, Violet, you can set up the meet. Get everybody to your place. Cool. She'll do it for the next day. It has been a long day. Okay. And she's going to attempt to get some sleep. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the next day. Let me find my insomnia roll. Um, Raptor, was there something oh, specific? She slept like a freaking log. Was there something specific you were going to do at your old place other than pick up your van? Uh, I'm not going to go get it now because I need heat to die down a little bit before I go and grab that. So tonight, okay. his main thing was to get to his house. Yep. Then swap ownership on the motorcycle over to the new sim. Yep. That I'll give that I'll give you that you were able to do. Yeah. That's okay. All right. Um. The. <laughs> okay. You get to the the new place, and um, well, something happened here. Um. You don't really want to know, um, everything, but there is a clean spot to sleep. Um. I will pull the motorcycle right in the front door into the living room. Yep. Because I, uh, I used to do this in the winter when I needed to take my bike out and I didn't have a garage. Yeah. I'd pull it into my living room and it would just sit there all winter. So I'm going to do the same thing as Raptor. We're going to pull yep. it inside. It's going to be right there inside so that nobody can take it. Yep. Yeah, because the garage, the garage downstairs could be secure. But yeah, the, the garage door is kind of bent up. Um, yeah, it looks like they backed the, yeah, they backed something, they backed a big truck into it, it looks like. Uh, so you'll be able to, you'll be able to get it, you'll be able to get it look, looking, you'll be able to get it secure for the Barons. Um, it won't be pretty, but the Barons don't have to be pretty. Right, so for right now, I won't leave anything in the garage until I can secure it down. I'll yep. bring the motorcycle into the into the house itself. You know, she'll like it. It's nice and warm now. <laughs> uh, yep. Cold outside. Yeah, the appliances seem to work in here. It was just that um, something smashed through the others, and then uh, some uh, fun and mayhem happened up here. Right. Uh, other than that, you guys. Uh, are able to get and then I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the next day with uh Violet you said let's just for argument's sake say for Shadowrunners you have Raptor show up there at noon and the rest show up at 12 15. Yeah yeah that sounds good. Okay. All right then at this point it's all up to you. Yeah. Uh, so Raptor would be very familiar with this house because this is a house that Violet grew up in. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. It's I, I picture it like a pretty, like a small family house, maybe three bedrooms. I mean, calling it three bedrooms is probably a stretch, but uh, yeah. She'll might have been standing at the door for an hour before he appeared there he before he there. shows up yeah when he gets there you know he will have wanted to just walk in like he normally does or whatnot whenever he comes over but if you stop him at the door he'd be like i'm looking for that book you know electronics for street sams dj better not touch that book i loaned it to you when he was younger i kind of need it now Get that back uh, yeah, uh, uh, sure, uh, I'll look for it. Yeah, um, come on in. Um, I've got coffee. I don't, it's noon. Um, 
Okay. You okay? Let's... Fine. I'm fine. Uh, let's go. Let, let living room. Let's let's sit. Um. Somebody ain't dead, are they? <laughs> no, actually. Um, okay. That good for nothing leave you? I'll track <laughs> him down. I will take him out in a heartbeat. That's a misunderstanding. We are not together. Yeah, but he's still always around. And that hasn't changed. Okay. He'll probably be here soon, actually. Then I understand your mood. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, sit. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. You ain't mad okay. about the prison thing, are you? Like, no. I'm not going to have a PO anymore. Well, I'll have one, but I won't report to him. Right. No, uh, it's it's fine. That's fine. No, this is unrelated. Okay. Um, he'll go in and he'll sit down. Violet also takes a seat. <laughs> she needs to sit more than anything, I think. Okay, so... I... Yes, I'm just gonna say it. Um, Mom's not dead. This is no time to joke. I'm not. Um, this is... He'll stand up. What the fuck do you mean she's not dead? Out of character question, how long, what, how old was she when he went to prison? How long was he in prison? So Violet would have been probably about eight. Um, her mom would have been one of the first parts of the runner team for when he came from Atlanta into Seattle. He okay. came from Atlanta into Seattle probably in 2050s, early 2050s. Okay. Um, okay. I, I'm getting timelines straight in my head for when things happen that I haven't put dates on yet. Um, okay. About... About 15 years ago, uh, Mom ran afoul of some ghouls. and became infected. Some, she's not completely feral. Uh, some days are, some days she's more there, some she's she not. Dear. Yes. I, Reinforce the basement in its would be a safe room in normal circumstances. Uh, given the time, she should probably still be asleep. Uh, don't know <laughs> if you're aware, those ghouls are mostly uh, nocturnal. Uh, something nope. about sensitivity. I mean, I, I really know what, don't know what to say, Violet. I mean. I know. It's just always been easier to say that she's gone. Uh, because most days she is. Um, most days she doesn't recognize me. Um, nobody else, nobody else knows. Um, I don't know what happened to the crew she used to run with. Oh, I know what happened to that crew. Okay. That's how I ended up in prison, is what happened to that crew. Oh, right, yes. 
And if she's alive, I guess that would have been a different crew then. I don't. She ran with another crew after us. I guess I'm. All right. Well, it makes sense. You said she got turned 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That I mean, was, she it was survived. About six ambush. years after the I, I want. Uh, I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna step TJ. outside for some fresh air. Yeah. All right. He'll get up and walk out. Violet's gonna go uh, make some strong coffee and pull out her stash, uh, a, a probably hidden bottle of whiskey. DJ will get out of the car. Parked. He's got a box in his hand. Walks up to Raptor. Donut. Not today, TJ. Okay. Not today. You should probably just go inside. Okay. Because right now, I just want to hurt someone. So I need you to just move along. He walks away, shakes, shakes his head in that, you know, impertinent thing that, you know, 20 year olds that are not nearly as tough as they think they are can do. Um, and, uh, Goes up the uh, stairs. TJ's older than 20. Yeah, he's older than 20, but <laughs> he he regresses a little bit when he's when he's talking to Raptor. <laughs> he's taking a lot of <laughs> he's taking a lot of shit from Raptor for stuff that he isn't actually done. <laughs> he's a That's guy. fair. We're <laughs> gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> comes in sees you with a bottle of whiskey well he didn't punch me on my way in so that went better than i thought it would yeah how you doing i don't know okay that's allowed walks up and uh Lays a gloved um, hand on your shoulder, gives you a squeeze. This is going to be a shit storm. Best just to hold your nose and get through it. And it'll smell better. It'll smell better when we're past, when you're past it. I don't know if that was a genius metaphor or if you need to workshop that one more. Probably need to workshop that one more. I'm 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 shooting from my I'm, I'm shooting from my hip here. I don't I, I there is no I looked it up. There is no guide. You know, there's, there's if you were pregnant. Yeah, I got plenty. There's plenty of guides out there about how to handle that. Uh, but you know, how do you handle it when you're you know. Uh, when the woman you love is a ghoul and you're helping her take care of her, um, her, her ghoul mother, or is, is in fact, there is a carrier of the ghoul and it, 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 okay. You know what? This isn't about me. Sorry. I'm going to stop diarying of the mouth here. Uh, your friend should be showing up any second. Um, pretty sure tank, this will keep, this will keep tank and buck, um, their mouth busy. Puts the donuts on the coffee table. Buck's not as bad as you think he is. Ah. 
Hank's exactly as bad as he thinks he is. <laughs> oh, give me that, Max. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Um. He takes the the bottle down and. If you haven't already poured one for yourself, he does pour you one. She had made, she had made coffee despite it being noon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's basically just fortifying her coffee. <laughs> okay. All right, we ready for the other, others to get here? Was that an out of character or in character question? I couldn't It was an in character question with an out of character inflection. <laughs> That's why I was confused. Got it. Yeah. Smash cut to Robin standing in the door. Oh, am I early? <laughs> I can, I can cycle no. the block. I, no, I smelled no, coffee no. and I wanted some. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Mugs are in. That cabinet there. I go in there. I pick the silliest yeah. one that's in there. Um, it says, uh, "Do you my have dog silly mugs?" Is my they're all they're all mismatched, secondhand, sort of old whatever they got. I mean, these people live in the Barrens. They grew up in the Barrens. I mean, it's the edge of Touristville, so it's a okay portion of the Barrens. All right, but mm. all right, yeah. Well, there's one with like um, a beaver on it, and it says majestic, and <laughs> that's the one that I'm drinking coffee out of. I'm just gonna say the other two show up. Um don't know you see red sitting outside raptor raptor sitting outside wow you're right i do know we see red outside i'd be like dude I do, I do do it did you get into shadow run <laughs> <laughs> um what's up tank it's a long long list really yeah. I can't start. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Violet needs to talk to me about something. I don't know what. All right. I'll be right back out. No. I'll I stop and I take a work. step back. You look like somebody just kicked you in the jimmy. You okay? Not really, but uh, we'll see how this goes. He gets up and he'll walk up. Tank inside. Hey, Violet. I'm here. Hey, Tank. There's donuts and coffee. Oh, sweet. Thank you. You knew I was coming. Sure did. So I will tank her up on a big cup of black coffee and a fistful of donuts. Literally. It's a like two or three in one hand. Violet. Ruben has two stacked on a napkin, sitting cross-legged, crisscross applesauce. They don't crisscross applesauce. I'm like, whoa, everybody's here? I don't know everybody. We yeah. got a job? No. Oh. I need a job. Just know that we're going to be okay. All right. Whoa. I know. I know. Tank realizes there's like an air here with Raptor saying he's pissed the way that Violet's acting. The fact donuts and coffee were here and there's no job. This is serious. So we crisscross applesauce and he's going to just sit there and patiently wait for what happens next because, you know, stuff like this only happens when someone died or they won the lottery. And none of us are rich. Uh, yeah, Buck should be here in a minute, probably. Uh, yeah, no, he's, uh, 
Bugs is gonna pull up on him, uh, and he, of course, is immediately going to uh, begin scarfing donuts. It's the first thing that he's had all day. Uh, Take up. TJ looks over at uh, at Violet with a, a slight smile. Does not make eye contact. <laughs> Does not make eye contact with TJ. Was TJ in the room when we all showed up? Yes. Yes. Uh, Hank will uh, visibly be eating, drinking coffee, and then. In fact, anybody and then who has. A little a... closer toward him and go, oh, Aqua Bell? Why? <laughs> Anybody who has a, a like a, a runner knowledge skill or similar might actually be decently familiar with TJ. It's a runner handle. I haven't ever figured that out because he's also a shadow runner. Yeah. Uh, connection level six, so he would be knowable. I don't know what uh, skill. But I don't know if anybody cares. It would be like a knowledge skill for like runners or. Seattle English, Japanese, underground, magic. something like that. That's all I got. Yeah. Then really? Go. Just if anybody, if anybody had that, I mean, it would be possible to recognize them. I, just... Sorry, I, I was just kind of a bit. I figured that. Are, are there no like knowledge skills specific for like gang recognition or like stuff like that? Don't be knowledge skill. Yeah. No. Not like skills can wide. Be, Yeah, you can make up whatever you want. Oh, That's. Okay. It's it's. It's one of the great things about it. It's also one of the trickier things because people go, well, what should I how do you use? Define Which, that? Well, how do you define that? Or what? I mean, you can define it generally by what, well, okay. You can't say um, knowledge of, you know, from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's a little bit too broad. You can't, you can't have the knowledge of that book. Or if we let you, your brain explodes when, you know, if you first, <laughs> you first run. So, you know. But, you know, you can, knowledge skills are pretty uh, wide open. You can pick a bunch, generally magic, magical threats. It's whatever you want to know about and roll uh, logic for. And in the book, there is a series of suggestions. Every um, decker I've ever made has matrix security design as a knowledge skill, for example. <laughs> every every B and E character has building layouts and um security, security procedures. procedures yep security, security systems procedures. security procedures it's always uh, wise for magic users to have arcana right yep. arcana is an active skill though no 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 knowledge anymore. arcana oh no that's astral isn't it yeah it's, yes so, i mean you're so, not wrong yeah. it, it is an active skill the knowledge of casting spells because it's called spell yeah. casting but yeah but now that we've now that we've talked for a second and we've settled everybody in I think Tyler has something to say for our last break before we go into the big reveal. Um, you already know it, everyone. So let me just uh, go right on over here. Everyone, this is your last chance to drop a rim PC down in the chat in order to win three Esper Genesis RPG core rulebook PDFs. This is your last shot. You throw it in now. It can go in over the break. Yes, maybe a couple minutes after. Probably. <laughs> we'll figure it out. And we will be right back.
can I just ask, what does a summoning tea kettle look like? Oh, a summoning tea kettle. It looks... It's, it is made out of cast iron that has been painted ritually with symbols uh, in blood, obviously, that are then obviously. coated and shellacked over so that they don't flake off, if, you know, that way it can last for centuries. <laughs> um, and... We use a nice clear coat, though, so you can see them quite nice, quite clear. We we mix in with the blood. We mix in the iridescent paint, so it gives us a nice little beautiful shimmer, especially as it heats up. And as you heat it up, that's where the magic happens, because that is when all of the symbols start to glow and get bright and beautiful. And as the tea kettle whistles, that is the summoning ritual complete. If you have an interest in using the summoning tea kettle, or taking part in any of the other worlds in our games, you don't have to have experience. Just be on our Discord, and the GMs will work with you and help you find a game you enjoy. The link is in the chat. Ready to level up your cosplay game? Check out the Geek Forge on Etsy. With a variety of props to give your photos that extra spark, you'll find just what you need. Hold magical fire in the palm of your hand, or take a potion to restore your mana. With a large variety of colors, you can choose your own magical flavor for your cosplay. Bring drama to your photo shoots with these vibrant props and more, all available at the Geek Forge. Are you ready to level up your cosplay?
<laughs> so to the layout of the the room that I picture this happening in is the the sitting room, living room, whatever you want to call it. There's a really old recliner that has probably been reupholstered to death. A love seat that definitely does not match it. And a coffee table that used to have the the glass top. Uh, it's no longer glass. It's been. What would she replace that with? That's uh, a plastic sheet I uh, found uh, on a job. So it's, 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 it's glass like. And, you know, there's a trid set in your normal living room. Violet is sitting in the uh, recliner. She's like sitting on the edge of the recliner. Like she can't, isn't letting herself relax. I'm. DJ is standing a little bit off to the side behind her, uh, behind the recliner, um, just in the support backup position, I guess is the best phrase. And she takes, she takes, probably drinks about half of her cup of fortified coffee. Okay. Um, this is, okay. Before I start, this is going to be a bit heavy, uh, very personal. If any of you don't want to be here, deal with this, uh, I won't take that personally. Um, I don't want to unduly burden anybody with this knowledge. Um, while he is just cramming, he's just no, I, I'm all good. It's just, ought to be just fine. Internally, Violet's like, fuck, you had, you had the opportunity to, to, to <laughs> prove TJ wrong here. Tank is sitting <laughs> politely with his hands crossed and just waiting. Like the buck and tank of swap personalities. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I start this? So, uh, it's probably been fairly obvious. I've kept, I guess, a wall between my personal life and everything else, all of you. Um, This is my home for start. This is not a random house that I found to have this conversation in. This is my home. Um, real home. My real home. I grew up in this house, actually. Um, that's not important right now. Um, my mother is a ghoul and currently resides in the basement. She is not feral, but she is not always there mentally. After, after waking up in New Orleans, uh, missing that, missing that month and everything that has happened since we got back into town, I realized I overlooked many things uh, and I need more contingencies in place should something happen to me. And so you four, uh, five, are Most of the people that I can trust, that I would trust uh, with something like this, should something happen to me. So you deserve to know this, and I'm... Uh, right, uh, this is this is TJ. Um, he's a longtime friend. 
Um, he is also in our line of work, and it's not really moonlighting because that is our line of work. Um, but he also works as a street doc. Uh, he's been, uh, he's helped me with my mother since. Uh, so you're telling me TJ knew before me? Yes. At this point, uh, Buck has absolutely stopped doing whatever, just horking down donuts and has, <laughs> has washed off his hands and, and just kind of patiently kind of waiting, just after hearing that saying like, either, um, still, still kind of stunned by the information, just, uh, Good, good to meet you. And he, he holds out his hand towards TJ. Um, ah. And Buck is just on autopilot right now. He is just in his social mode that he falls into. Okay. Uh, TJ puts out his his hand. Uh, and does actually grab his his wrist his hand and then don't um, do it TJ <laughs> this is me out of character just don't do it TJ um, and he gives you a solid uh, squeeze um, Nothing that I'm not... strong, strong, strong handshake. <laughs> Listen, uh, knowing a lot of corporate personalities, I do have to say, uh, overcompensating CEOs do it better. I guarantee you. Did Buck actually say this? No, he doesn't say it. No, <laughs> no, no, no. He's he's going into places where people are wearing the bougiest of outfits and and the, the yeah. gaudiest of glamour, where you know, yeah. They're, okay. they're probably you know, doing the same you, thing. Yeah, you just you just take the hand squeeze and move and, and let it go and move on. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. He he's a little little shocked when you don't try to turn it into a fight uh, or turn it into a contest, but he does uh, let go and and step back. Uh, um. There is one other. <sighs> One yeah. other thing. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how to say this. Um, DJ, what's it? hand on your shoulder and squeezes okay they'll understand so uh okay layman's terms i am technically also infected i carry the krieger strain this is why i have never let any of you uh attempt to tend to injuries that I have received on the job and am overly cautious about there's no delicate way to put this bodily fluids oh. I am not careful I could infect somebody if they came in contact with my blood saliva anything really do you have to take medicine for it or are you just you know uh... I like for you no it it uh 
I was infected while caring for my mother. Um, but I, my body managed to fight off becoming a ghoul. But I now carry the disease. It merely does not affect me. I will introduce you all at some point. Uh, not, not immediately. Um, there is a raptor stand. Called the Soup kitchen for ghouls, the uh, the non-feral type. I have made. Um, we're on friendly. I'm on friendly terms with the owner, and that is where I source my mother's food. Um, so I will make sure I will. Excuse me. That was out of character coughing. Hmm. I will um, put together information packets for each of you and store, as well as store them here in the house. That way, if if something were to happen to me, I will put con more concrete actions into plan or plans into action, act, uh, as it were. Um, in case that comes to pass. If you, I don't like, I started, I don't want to overly burden you. I, this is. You said she's in the basement? Yes. I'm gonna go not, see. No, not right now. She is, she should be still asleep. It is not a good time. She is more aggressive if you wake her during the day and highly sensitive to lights. Um, I'm going to see her before I leave. She was more have... than family to me. I know she's family to you. I haven't seen her in 20 years. I have cameras set up down there. Will that be enough for now? Darlin, I can... It, Pilot, I can... I can take him down later. Uh, when... After she's... When she's woken up and we give her some food. That's when... I can take care of that. That that work, Raptor? Just want to see. But be on camera. Oh, be on person. <laughs> Don't want to see. Pilot will, like, pull up the camera feeds. They're they're obviously going to be uh, thermographic cameras because it's kept pitch black down there. Um, but she'll basically share those feeds with him. Uh. She's suffering? Not usually. On the bad days, uh, in order to keep her from... <laughs> As he's asking that and looking at it, you can see there are, like, shackles attached to the bedpost. Uh, we do have to restrain her on, 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 on the worst days. You gotta shackle her? You gotta... You gotta chain her up? Those are the days when they're, when 
she's not there. There, there is nothing. He's not conscious of it. Doesn't realize it. We can't. Why do you keep her so? And he gets up and just walked out. Why do you keep her so? He's. She's my mom. She was good to you then. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> she's she's all I've got. Um, she has good days. The, she's still in there. Do you think she's happy? Oh. Ooh, I need to make a composure roll for my own it. Because <laughs> she knows the answer to that question. I created this situation and I'm about to cry. <laughs> uh, okay, composure. Oh, right. I could just roll that from my character sheet. Oh, that would have been a perfect time for a glitch right there. <laughs> uh, you ask if she, if Violet thinks she's happy, and she's she basically stares. Just she's not meeting any anybody's eyes. She's no, she's staring like into the rest of her coffee. As she says, <laughs> she doesn't reply. Actually, she just goes silent. All I, all Robin does in response to that is uh, stand up from where they've been, like sitting on the floor. I feel like it, there's a carpet, right? It's like an old shag carpet. That's what I'm imagining sitting on, basically. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. It just feels really, um, I don't know. That feels important. I stand up from there and I um, I walk over and I will take your coffee cup out of your hand and I'm going to go refill it for you with both alcohol and uh, or, or boosters and uh, coffee. We're going to Fortify your coffee is how we say it in Shadowrun world. <laughs> Goodbye. I go to the kitchen, um, but I'll come back. I could um, <clears throat> uh, when I come back, I say I'll say, well, well, that's that then. We don't suppose there's much else to be said. That's just it. That's just it, right? Uh, for now, be all right. We're here with you. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. No, me too. And then you, you smell what can only be a, a, as best interpreted as like the smell of summer, like the smell of sun. <laughs> just right, like I forget about his tailored pheromones. Just, just exuding from him, just being like, "Yeah, no, no, everything." He's terrified, but he's like, "Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here with you." <laughs> Look over it, Buck. <laughs> I think it's really something that's just stick together through all this, and uh, it's not an easy decision to make. Either way, is it? You'll have no, to make it uh, one day. Oh. Maybe. Um, I don't... There's... Research has found some stuff. Don't know, but not been proven yet. But there's... Um... There's work being done in this area. Considering what they've... Considering what's been... What's happened, it's... There's a... There's still a chance it, there could be a cure. I feel that ra I feel Raptor should it be here and as I oh uh Raptor and I will wander out the way he went. How far did you go, Raptor? Uh, he's walking around the house looking for a way into the basement. 
because he is a breaking and entering specialist. Uh, so you would catch him out in the yard. What are we doing? Are we breaking in? What are you doing? Wait, what's your what's your angle? What are you doing out here? What's your what are you after? I just can't. I just can't imagine being chained. I, I know Violet is taken care of. I get it. But I made a promise to that woman to take care of this family. Well, all right, then. I'll make sure to hold you to it. But uh, there's some really important information that's being divulged, especially based on what you said there. And she's not changed now, is she? She's sleeping peaceful. Like, in the basement. You can't make decisions like that for our children. you got to come inside. They're telling good news, all right? It's iffy. It's iffy. Well, we can be positive. We can have a little shining light around the garbage can of life out here, eh? Come on in. I wonder how many times in the last decade Violet or TJ has come upon the possible cure for HMHBV. Looking. That's all you do. And I, I don't know if I want to spoil your moment, but I don't know if I can keep it from me. So I'll tell you, so you can temper your reaction, sir, because right. you want to protect someone. Huh? Violet's right. having a hard time right now, and you go right. to protect her. You're making it harder, right? You got it? Yeah. All right, so yeah. they're going to try to heal it. They're going to heal it. There's going to be a, a, a cure one of these days. There, that's old TJ in there. He said there's research. I don't know if he's doing it. Seems kind of. Uh. All right, fine. Fine, fine. Just, just a little bit, I hope. Carry it on, precise. You'll walk inside with Robin. Okay, tell him the big news. It's good news, right? You tell him, TJ. Um, yeah, that's enough. No, nice. There is a. Um... There's been a lot of dead ends that uh, we've chased down. Uh, this this latest looks interesting because uh, they specifically target controlling the manosphere the person is inside of as the cure is applied to starve out the dual natured part of the infection the same time while they apply treatments to kill it off it it looks it looks legitimate me and uh violet need to do well we need to get into their system and and take a look at it uh see what is going on and where they're at but they're not i don't know they're being it this has the feel of being legitimate they they're not whose system uh the university system where they're doing the research it is the tricky in the past there there are plenty of um you know cures out there on the matrix you can find all of them are bunk they're just designed to separate desperate people from their money this particular researcher is legitimate he's done other um He's done other studies that have borne fruit. And I, like I said, it, it looks good. We still got to go in and do the, uh, the matrix search around their systems and figure out how far away they are from a cure or from doing trials on it. Uh, 
I'm not quite sure how they control the manosphere that someone is in, but it I said it looks it looks good. And it's it's the first legitimate one we've seen in a while. Uh, but even if this one isn't a success, it is definitely a it's a definitely new path and they are treating it like real research and not some corp trying to grab some money. We were to acquire this research. Would you be able to use it? Gotta be easier if I could just lie to you and tell you yes. I don't know. I don't know enough about the techniques. Controlling the manosphere is a little is a little scary considering the access to the equipment that we have. Do you need That's a sure. big deal? It would if it comes to that, it would probably be easier to sneak her into their trials. Yeah. So we need to get her into the trial. Yes. That's that's my thought. This sounds like a job. Sure it it's, it's it's not quite there yet. They're still in the we, early stages of the research. But yeah, it definitely it, it definitely could turn into it definitely could turn into a um a job. Um as soon as we get now that things have I'm assuming you guys are gonna be able to take some downtime and uh that whole thing with the prison kind of came up right as I was finding the information out. You know, we haven't imagine. had a chance. I mean, yeah. Violet, how yeah. long do you think it's going to take them to get from this early stage to the late stage? You're the doctor. I trust your medical opinion. I don't know. There's no, there's no way to tell. There are so many different things that can come up to create stumbling blocks and hurdles before they get to any human testing. And then once they do get to that phase, it's can we sneak her into the test or can we... I don't think any of these tests would take her legitimately due to... The, the... I don't think her mental... I've never heard of another condition like hers. It's not normal that HMHVV, that, that a ghoul will have those lucid days and not. It, it, it's... I don't know if Alzheimer's might run in the family or Listen, what I honestly her not being lucid will probably help you know Be those hurt. tests never take feral ghouls except for the fact that they may start testing them on feral ghouls first because they can get away with it because they're feral ghouls what else are they going to do with them? Like a, like, like a special case. Don't you think they'd find that valuable? Maybe there's something different in her, her brain or her, her body. That, that could be definitely true. The fact the the, the situation, um, like I said, once, once we get into the system and, and can take a look at what they've got and where and where their project plan is going, we'll have a better idea. The fact that she's different could just very... <laughs> it's going to forcibly, like, bite her tongue to keep from... Don't and, borrow, and don't long borrow trouble from tomorrow. Don't borrow trouble from tomorrow. Listen, the next step is to get the information, which we'll do that hack as soon as we can. Um, And then it's just a matter of going through it and 
we'll figure it out. To anybody socially aware and, well, Raptor that knows Violet, uh... She hasn't given up hope, necessarily. But she's not... Not She's not letting herself get her hopes up. And there's so many more negative things she wanted to say as he was talking about that and all of that, but she's not. As soon as you find out when, where, I don't care what I'm doing. I don't care where I'm at. I will go anywhere on this earth. I will do anything on this. You tell me where to be, and you know I'm there. I know. I'm gonna take this downtime. I think I'm gonna go into the night. I'm gonna prep, I'm gonna prepare. We oh, right, and while you guys are here, if you need any, I know you and I haven't looked yet to see if if you need I've I know an ID uh gal that can get you new uh fakes if you need a new sin or something after everything that just happened. I've already got mine taken care of. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I've got a new place to stay already, too. Good. Uh, I guess any, uh, I feel too much like a school teacher to ask if there are any questions, but <laughs> if you want yeah. to know any more about, yes, Tank. She dead people. I don't know if that was too much, but like I only know ghouls. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's a a man who runs a the pit. Yeah, yeah. I call he he calls it a ghoul uh soup kitchen where the non ferals can I. D didn't if explicitly guess, say people uh so i understand tank <laughs> do you eat dead people no do you ever want to eat dead people no, no. but she wants to she always wants to eat my uh my fries when i get them and she says she doesn't want them wow. that's a personal that was, problem tj that you need it, to work it is that that was a, uh, sorry, that was not a little stressful. Was sorry, DJ. It wasn't. It's fine. Uh, anyway, I, I guess this is, uh, why I knew how to test you and, and knew that you were not going to be a vampire tank. Oh, wow. I have. That makes so much sense. Yes. That's whatever you're saying is not coming through, Max. I had to turn my dang down like, the entire show. Someone's been like, "You're too loud. Too much clicky crack." <laughs> I blame Buck. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm. Tank is, uh, it's flabbergasted, like, it's it's definitely clicked, they were all the little signs and he just didn't pick up on it, like the blood, the, the knowledge and stuff like that, so he is, he's floored, but then he will definitely flash back to what you just said, he goes, actually, uh, I don't have a place to stay, and I probably could use with another ID, and... You stay at my place, Tank. Cool. Yeah, and I'll I'll get a hold of the I'll get a hold of what did I name my ID manufacturer? 
and uh yeah i'll reach out to jackie and about that work because uh my sin had all my money on it and or something i don't know if somebody could get my money out of my sin that would be great oh yeah i can help you with that i tossed down the trans avalon onto the coffee table yeah it, I, that's the one burnt it's off right now all right good i just need to get alice out of you know unhooked from that sin and get that sin out of there and all that don't you use Craig stick no he pulls out a credit stick no banks it's not yeah, anything. no banks but it can be pickpocket i'm i'm around people who will put their hands in your pockets i'm the guy that puts my hands in your pockets we're both yeah. assuming that tank is wearing an item that I has pockets <laughs> it's true <laughs> buck you uh you good uh he is a full blast <laughs> Uh, churning out the, the 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 effective smell of of summertime. Uh, that's pre- that's kind of why she's asking. <laughs> she knows overcompensating when she sees it. He's he at this point is absolutely just putting up the front of just like. Uh, I I understand everything. Everything is okay. Um. I, 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 everything's going to be okay. It's all right. He just kind of pushing down any, any internal issues. He, he knows that it's not, it's, it's not his... It's not his own personal situation. It's 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 somebody else's that he cares about, and he just he can't come fully to terms with it yet. Understandable. That makes a lot to take in. Not a sacrifice that your character puts out for the purpose of like family. Well, that Tank understands the whole concept. I mean, he, you know, so that's why he's been patient with the whole like, environment and the conversation. Mm-hmm. So he's supportive in, you know, whatever needs to be done as far as, you know, this doctor needs to get. So he gives us whatever it is. Hey, I'm there for him. No, that's I, I, like Buck just definitely comes from like a more pampered lifestyle. Or not, not pampered, but more isolated. I guess more. Mm, you don't run into ghouls around the water cooler. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it, it's it's just very much, you know, like like this isn't something that I'm used to whatsoever. But I'm used to being cool with everything, so I'm gonna be cool with everything. Uh, <laughs> not used to this at all. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, he's he's almost controlling his uh, his tailored pheromone subconscious. He's, he, it's it's effectively subconscious at this point. Like he is just like I am not getting bitten today. Uh, I'm going to fight for my life, but also at the same time, I'm not going to fight anything because everything is cool. Okay. Um. Like. Well, I- that was uh guess all I wanted to say today um good meeting everybody <laughs> doctor 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 I'm joking I'm that didn't <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, Buck is checking to make sure that his nails are clipped yes yeah, uh... <laughs> uh right well What's on, yeah. what's on the telly? Yeah. <laughs> you turn on the TV. Okay. So I'm guessing at this point, everybody kind of, well, is Raptor sticking around till night, till she wakes up? No, he's not going to. Okay. Uh, after the talk with Roven, he's decided that he's putting him 
forward instead of putting Violet's needs forward. Okay. So Rowan kind of talking down. He will go straight up to TJ though. And he kind of pokes him in the chest, but not like solid pokes him in the chest. You're like, we were gone for over a month. And you took care of him. And he'll just kind of not but like hit him. Good man. Mm. Thank you. And he'll just turn and walk away. Okay. He's going to stand there in shock for a few months. <laughs> Let it go to your head, TJ. <laughs> there we go. I'll, um, I'll let you know when you can talk to her. Yep. Raptor. It would be appreciated. Thank you. Um, at that point, we're going to fade to black. Uh, Tyler, you got a, uh, got a winter got forest. A winter forest. Why I do. Uh, also, uh, I have finally figured out the way to, uh, do something that can be implemented into either next week or the week after that stream, uh, mm -hmm. as far as the giveaway goes. But for this week, we are doing it standard and it is Clockwork Tuba. You've won hey, the Red PC giveaway. Uh, so, uh, I already have your email. No worries about that. And guess what? It's already sent over. It's already there. <laughs> like magic. <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything. Wow. <laughs> but I... congratulations. You. All right. So, um real quick because i know somebody's gotta log off uh so um if you're interested in seeing more stuff we will be back next week where we do some more downtime uh runners take care of some stuff and we probably do that hack that uh violet and tj were talking about the um uh Carl, would you like to do a promo for Rough Magic? I would love to. I always love to. Uh, me and uh, Max, who went away for a little bit, but uh, we both work for Rough Magic Games. And if you want to play games and you need a GM, we got you covered, honestly. If you live in the Chicagoland area or in the Jacksonville area, we can uh, be there in person. We also do a lot of games online. You can go to roughmagicgames.com and uh, either book one of the games that we have pre-listed. You can create your own game in tandem with a GM uh, and uh, yeah that you you could do that and 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 we can help you with that and that is cool and fun <laughs> hey um hang on we may want to um, yeah like what happened <laughs> there... uh, give me one second there you know what they're just blank me out now. Just blank out my box. Now I am Tyler. Yeah, now we're all, we are, we're, we're all going to be in the right spot. No, no, that, 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 that's fine. That's fine. All right, let's yeah, roll with it. And Tara are in the right spot. So I okay. am Tank Tank. Thank goodness. Uh, okay, so uh, if you want to run other Shadowrun uh, games, check out uh, Shadowrun Missions Online. Uh, it is a continuing, uh, basically the living campaign of Shadowrun is missions. We use a lot of source material. I'm pulling a lot of source material from that uh, for this for this campaign. But uh, it is a continuing, basically a continuing convention. The games that normally you could just play at conventions or if you have a friendly local gaming store with a... Um, with a local GM, you can play it with this. You can play it online. Uh, we help you get yourself set up with a character, and you get to have uh, 
fun and we are all paid up through March. So every, so the games are free. Uh, beyond that, check out, if you're interested, we have a week, a couple, every other weekly game for of uh, Shadowrun or on the Shadows of Nox stream where they feed into what happens here. Uh, or vice versa. Yes, or vice, and or vice versa. versa. Uh, the Chummer Warehouse hack actually happened uh, last week or this on Tuesday uh, on the Shadow of Knox stream. So we had to have some, we got to have some uh, fun with that and it fed into uh, earning um, Roven uh, a neat seven grand. Um, Very different AI than Fragging Direct Storm. Yeah. There's definitely some AIs, which actually didn't show up this time. I wonder what I wonder what Frag and Drake Storm is up to out there. <laughs> oh well, okay, yeah. He uh, watch Tuesday's game. Yeah, he's yeah he he's up to some stuff. Uh, <laughs> the very yeah. beginning of it. Yeah. Um, but other than that, does anybody have anything else they want to pit uh, pitch uh, uh, before we end for the night? Actually, yes, I'm going to double down and say everyone needs to go on over to uh, the Wrath of the Sea Lich Kickstarter on September 24th because I have not been doing my due diligence with it. Um, it is incredible from what we've been able to work on and it never made it into my script. So everyone here, uh, come on in. It it's hitting September 24th. Get in there. It, it is such, such a cool setting. It, 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 it has, it, it's in the shadow dark. It's based in just like the, the darkness encroaching on you. And it has simplified D and D rules attached to it, where it is just like, you, you legitimately do not know, have to know how to play D and D to play within the shadow dark RPG system. Uh, it's incredibly fun, but go check it out. The Sea Lich also oh. looks sick. I love the OSR well. vibes of that system. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, everybody have a great week and we'll be back next Thursday. Bye. Mm -hmm. This is Max or Tank Tank signing out. <laughs>